Well, we are back, huh? We're back at the Nine Club, everybody. Today, we have some very special, special, special guests. That's right. <laughs> Mr. <laughs> Mr. Tori Pudwell and Day One Song are with us. How are you guys? Good. Good, good. Happy <laughs> to be here. Pumped to be here. Day yeah, One. We, bro, Tori, we were just talking before the show. You're a seasoned vet. You've been on four or five times. You're you're good. You're gonna, you're gonna be on another four or five. I mean, you're gonna you can get the award for most appearances for yeah, sure. Yeah, I wear the t-shirts, dude. I got the sticker See? on my board. Jeez. That's yeah, what talking about pretty soon. Dude. That's what's up. Pretty, pretty soon, I'll have my own seat here. You know. There you go. <laughs> there you go. Oh, I'm just kidding. Day one, though. We've been trying to get day one on the show for about 18 years now. Yeah. <laughs> we've, uh, we've only been in business about six or seven, but we've been trying for 18. How you do, day one, dude? I missed you, bro. I miss you too, man. It's nice to see all the familiar faces, people yeah. I grew up with. So yeah, yeah, that's cool. bro. for that's sure, really for awesome. sure. It's so funny, man. Um, I was just the other day. I was watching Love Child. I was watching Love Child, man, and the Day One song. It's a tough watch. <laughs> what are you what? talking? That's no. the best. That's one of the best. That's that some brings of the droopiest to... kick flips and worst hard flips ever documented. <laughs> okay. But let, let's say that that was the first hard flip ever documented, though. Maybe a hundred percent, right? I still give it to this, that dude, Dan Gallagher. Okay, I yeah. just heard about it, so you heard did, about it, but yeah. so then you did it. I seen Dan Rodney Gallagher. Mullen, Rob knew Dan Gallagher, Dan Gallagher, Roger knew Dan Gallagher. Yeah. I mean, wait, so he was the first one to do a hard flip? That's what Rodney was saying, and we were back then, we there was no name, you know, it wasn't a hard flip, it was just we called it inside kick flip varial, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah. And it was just like, what is that, right? And I remember. The people were doing kind of like, oh, you guys are playing that video. He's trying to cue up the hard flip. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> yeah. I, wish, one, like, you, you... I wish that there was a way to like cut out the ground so it looked like I was like just floating. <laughs> a little more catch. It, Here, bounced, look, it bounced off the ground. Here, first. But this is, a, but come on, for the first hard flip ever documented. Let's see, let's see though. Oh, that was a game changer, bro. Look at this. Is there a catch? Inside kick flip. Oh, oh, straight up. Front foot catch. Inside kick flip right there. Inside kickflip. Yeah, so Rodney had said this guy Dan Gallagher had did some kind of inside kickflip. So we started trying it. And then when we were filming for this video, I kind of figured him out. And uh -huh. I was like, well, this little gap. Might have to get one of those little inside kickflips. <laughs> <laughs> so, were, were you doing them on flat ground yet? I or just on flat ground, but okay. they, they worked. We, you know, it was weird. So I need that time. So yeah. I found that huge Carlsbad. That was, <laughs> that, it was close. That's Carlsbad gap. <laughs> yeah, it was that like huge a, Carlsbad. Socrates made it look <laughs> too small. I I the lenses, yeah. It was like the lenses back then. Yeah. So that thing was actually pretty big. So probably yeah. from, I'd say like from here, Chris, to about you. Yeah. <laughs> That's about yeah, that's pretty little, much. Okay, yeah, I can see okay. low and long. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> All right, it was like maybe four yeah. stair. But this, I mean, the love child though, so, like this line, like the power line, like through the whole thing, Nolly Tray. Tray. It's funny because you yeah. brought up all the stuff I just talked about. Watch the kickflip in this line. I know, but it, look at the line though. Come on. But didn't you recreate this line later? Yeah, and yeah. everything looked just as bad. <laughs> <laughs> you see that kickflip? The tail never left the ground. Come on, look at that tray flip. Hey, hey, that was comparable my, to Gons right there. This is my first vi uh, video part, too. Right. So. This is 91? Yeah. This 91. video was released in 91, so most of the footage was kind of, kind of, I think, compiled from 89 to 90. But it, listen, day one, like, think about this, though. Like, this uh, Blind Video Days was released in 91. And yeah. just look at the level of skating from Blind Video Days to, to, to Love oh, Child. Blind like, Video Days was way... That video was insane. But yes. the level of skating is got so much crazier in in the amount oh, of yeah. a month it definitely has changed you and know? then i feel like mm. the people we were all around too growing up skating it was like we all grew up just kind of all hanging out in a van as a little crew me jaron mm -hmm. henry guy it was just a bunch of us and we we're mm. kind of feeding all i touched it but <laughs> <laughs> touched on the manual no but nobody saw it nobody yeah, saw it Tori, how old were you in 91 i was zero years old <laughs> zero <laughs> <laughs> probably just turning one you know that's wow, sad. you weren't even the worm yet. <laughs> no, I was the sperm. Get <laughs> 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 you, know? Tori, that was amazing. <laughs> but yeah, these shirts are hilarious. We used to um, go on these shopping sprees with Rocco. Yeah, and he would take us, and then 
once he stopped taking us on shopping sprees, we still had this addiction for those type of shirts. <laughs> <laughs> so we were like, let's just go tr- find shops we could trade. But stuff you guys in go and, to like the outlets and stuff, right? No, we would a... go to the actual like skate shop. Oh, to see what we can trade in to get some of these. Oh, okay. uh, back then, I think they were like Stussy, Hank Ten, and oh, just like dude. those rugby style striped shirts. For sure, I, I remember like... getting some of those at uh, Target. Mm-hmm. Target had those suits, pretty heavy. Yeah, so it's crazy to see this video too. During this time too, I do remember. A lot of this time, I really didn't kick it with a lot of the people I'm saying. I was kind of like to myself for a long time. Uh huh. And uh, I think with Daniel and stuff, I started, you know, we started hanging out. But I, I just feel like I was so caught up with other things. Really? I was skating, but I feel like I just, you know, I was just doing other things. You had two lives. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Because, yeah. I mean, because there was like a solid crew. They all really kicked it almost every day with this dude, Sam. And they're always in the van. And I would try to link up with them when I could. Mm-hmm. Sam Barrowald? Yeah. yeah, Sam Barrowald. Yeah, yeah. Sam Barrowald was the, you know, he did a lot for people. He oh, for sure. Did, for I sure. hear his name a lot from yeah. you guys. He's always in the chat. He's, I mean, yeah, yeah he was in the chat yesterday. He's, yesterday. Been, he's been showing up at uh, one of the local parks always skate, too, just to kind of come by. And we've been skating together again. Mm-hmm. So it's pretty. But you were like 15 in this video? Um, maybe 15 going on to 16 or 16. 91? Wow. Mm. Goodness, man. We I love that. Cars Look at that. Double frontside flip. Very rare. Look at that Murphy I had. <laughs> <laughs> it was good. Oh, listen, for the first video part that you what's, ever had, what's though. That? What's that? Murphy when it's, and it's stuck all in your yeah, yeah. Stuck. yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. <laughs> there, there's a hard flip again. There's a hard flip again, but in slow mode, even see it yeah. worse. That's all right. He's the best. He's the best in the world. <laughs> that was a Stussy shirt. <laughs> Look at the. I love the behind the scenes. Sorry, we're going on a day one rant right now, Tori. But like, no, it's okay. I love it. I love it. I mean, I, th- these were the video. This was the videos that yeah. I that like shaped me playing B. Uh, love right. child what's great know? about that though is showing me like around 15 to 16 and that's kind of when i met tori when he was about 14 15 oh right, tori? okay <clears throat> no uh, no well that's when i got on dvs yeah that's when he got on dvs uh, i actually met him when he was just a little kid little over kid. at the skate lab yeah. Yeah. 98 i was yeah i was like eight years old Damn. he's flying around with his pad just and then i was talking to his mom yeah and so you know his mom was super you know Super like amazing person, you know. As I, you know, because I know now from talking to her. Mm-hmm. Back then, I just met her, and she was just like, "Oh, what do you think I should, you know, tell my kid and or what I can do for my kid? I was just just let them have fun." Right. Yeah. That's them. the best advice you could give yeah. to any parent, dude. And, and it, it went a yeah. long way, man. Yeah. <laughs> like, and it really, I mean, you know, it just. He was already killing it, so it was like, mm-hmm. what, what else could I say anyways? I was like, man, I wish I could kick, flip, grab that whole thing anyway. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. So, so you guys became friends when you guys pretty much got on dvs together yeah mm-hmm. yeah mm-hmm. that's when we started to get to know each other more yeah and tori was still young but i mean his head you know his head was in the right place he wasn't super crazy i mean he was he was still 15 or 14 yeah i was young uh, but that's when young. i was getting broken in i you know yeah. that's when i started terrorizing like the <laughs> hardest so, i mean going on a uh, world tour oh yeah with dvs skate more just like just partying freedom no but, wait who was your board sponsor back then shorties shorties Shorties, that's right okay yeah and he was at the you know shorties had that like time where it was just like shorties was like the biggest thing in the world and then tori got on too right at like you know still big yeah and so it was like being in addition to shorties back then was like a big deal huge yeah yeah and it was a it was an amazing team they showed like they showed like family connection, like one of those teams that seemed like they all hung out. Yeah, and it's hard to find that now, you know. I think that was a, that was a, a secret to a, a bunch of companies' success back then was just yeah. the team Definitely. dynamic, yeah. you know. Because like I wanted to be a part of Shorties when yeah. they're riding yeah. horses together and like you know, exactly. Like, yeah, I want to be there. I want to. I want that feeling, you know. Even with you guys, Love Child in the in the credits, you guys are all at Disney World and yeah, swimming in a pool together. And, and those like, were those were like a great time in my life because it was my first tour and. Yeah. Uh, I wasn't used to anything like that, you know what I mean? My parents kind of, they didn't let me go anywhere until my mom mm. took off and like disappeared. And then I was just like, well, and now I got all the freedom in the world. It's like getting out of jail, you oh, know? Wow. Yeah. And then I was able to go on this trip and just be with friends, hang out at hotel rooms and just do stupid things. You <laughs> yeah, know? Yeah, yeah, it's yeah. just like crazy. Yeah, a little Daniel Castillo. Yeah. Just Daniel Spencer, terrorizing. Jed, Shiloh, all of us were just, we were just wilding out. Crazy. We Day got, one, how did you initially get sponsored? I initially got sponsored because, um, not because, <laughs> but oh, like, there's the Tory footage. Oh yeah, <laughs> we're just playing the t- Tories. Uh, yeah, that's the uh, Tory. Look, Tory, look the, Tory the worm. At, look how the crazy worm. he's Spurman ripping already. Wheels. And the mom's like, "What should I tell him? Like, tell him how to teach. Show me how to Whoa, do that kickflip grab right there. <laughs> tell him to teach what? me." 
This is how to go pro, shorties. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This was um in the library. This was, actu- too? this was actually my sponsor me tape that I sent to Shorties. That's amazing. Back before I was This is on. the tape that got you on? No, this tape didn't oh. get me on. You had to follow this one I, up with something else. I saw that the tape was there. But um <laughs> but yeah, no, I, I got on kind of just sort of as a as a whim. I, I barely got on. Really? Yeah. Muska gave me the chance though. Um it was like me. Maria Savannah and mm, Oliver Revis yeah, yeah. and, and uh, those two got on. They didn't put me on, right? And um, and then I got that second chance, you know, that last chance, like in front of Muska. <clears throat> and Muska was like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah." He's, he's, like, he's on, he's on. Charles the shit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, this kid's dope. So then, so then, luckily I got on. And I was, I was like, I couldn't believe it, man. Sponsored, like oh, yeah. legit, oh, yeah. backed at twelve. When you say we were especially 12. being backed by Muska, you know what yeah, I mean? Twelve years yeah. old at that time too. Was, God, he had to have been like the most famous skateboarder in the world at the time. You know? Straight up. Oh, hell yeah. 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 It's the yeah. same as how Kelly was just asking me how I got sponsored too. And it was weird because I was just skating in front of this school. And Rodney, in his old videos, in the first Plan B video, he's always skating this tennis court. And he's just, he's always freestyling back there. He had this old Camaro. And I always see him back there. And then, but we would never bother him. You know what I mean? <laughs> I came from a place that's just like, let people be. Like, don't, mm. ah, Yeah, know? yeah, for um, sure. And then I was just skating these curbs out front, and I guess Rodney was watching from far away. And then later that day, he had talked to my buddy Pat, like, hey, he's, uh, like, you know, what's that kid's name? And he's like, hey, it's day one. He goes, oh, man, he has some control, you know? Mm-hmm. And then later, you know, that's was it. And Pat told me, like, hey, Rodney was asked about you. And I was like, what? <laughs> <laughs> you know? yeah. And then maybe about, I'd say about maybe a month later, he was, uh, I went to 135th Street School in Gardena, where I grew up. And he was skating there, and I remember to myself like Rodney's at one thirty fifth. Like he's gonna get fucked up here. Like, somebody's, oh, really? somebody's gonna jack him here. You know, oh. like I kind of <laughs> concerned for him. <laughs> but he was just skating, and you know, one thirty fifth was like a. It was one of those spots like how Hollywood sixteen is that big spot. Like back then for us, one thirty fifth Street School was like the the spot with the best hip in the world. Which which hip was it? Um, it's where Jeremy Klein would put yeah. like uh, big benches and crank over. Okay. Them. Yeah, gotcha, gotcha. there was always dogs barking, and Sanchez had all those lines. Yeah. To switch big flip over. Oh yeah, and that's why. Okay. So Rodney saw me there. We ended up skating, and you know, of course, I was like, "Oh, Rodney's here again. Let me try to show off." So I probably had a bad day, but he still hit me up and was like, "Hey, I want to send you boards," and I was like, "What?" <laughs> and then I remember being so hyped, like, "Okay." But I remember as he told me that, I was looking down at my board, and I was looking at those, you know, and I always talk about this in stories. Is, yeah. I looked at my Z-Rollers and I was like, I wonder if they're going to make me change my Z-Rollers. Yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. And I was concerned about that. Like, because I don't want to lose my Z-Rollers. And I, and, <laughs> and, and I had Z-Skin on my board, which was like this sticky plastic that you put under on, on the bottom of your board. And it's kind of like a slick bottom. Yeah, yeah it's like an ever slick type of deal. So it was almost like I was like, shit. And it's funny because why would I even think that? But I had what I liked. Yeah, you know? well, the Z rollers. That's and so funny I was that afraid because I don't, the didn't 80s, know what yeah. happens when somebody says you're going to give you boards. Like, what does that mean? Do I lose everything I own? <laughs> <laughs> Get this new. Well, listen, you eventually got off the Z rollers. <laughs> yeah. <too. laughs> well, it's funny because I've almost forced myself to because I started riding world boards, but with Z rollers. People are like, and then I started looking at the guys who mm-hmm. represent like Jason Lee and them, and they were on Venture at the time. And I was like, damn, like, these dudes are sick, half cab Japan's down this gap, and Mark Gonzalez, and I just started, you know, as as a young kid, I, I was, you know, they put a, you know, they just, they got me hyped, and sure. then I was easily persuaded to be like, well, like I Well, wanna- after a while, Z-Rollers weren't, what the, the shit? What the they fuck? were. They what, were. What are Z rollers? Z rollers. Oh are these my games? god! <laughs> <laughs> I want to. Try, I want to try Z rollers so That's bad. That's amazing. That he doesn't even know. Yeah, Z rollers are these uh, truck story, and then there's like one little bar that goes through, and then there's a little. You got this smart piece that goes over like this, so they just roll. So you're actually never grinding. You're just they rolling. rolling. You're the rolling. truck. The truck actually rolls on the grind. Yeah. Here we'll we'll pull it. Here, look. look, look. Here. <laughs> Trip. Okay. Here, look. There you go. Somebody's selling them for a thousand dollars, but no, that, that's, that's at one hundred and fifty. Whoa! How does that work? Oh my god! One thousand. Oh, yeah, that's a eleven hundred bucks. Out of here, Told bro. you I should have held on to them. Look at this. And I had like twenty sets. Wow. But see hey. that roll. So you're you're rolling on the curve. But look, they got it right with the kingpin. Oh yeah. <clears throat> yeah. That they had the inverted kingpin. Inverted Down kingpin. Long yeah. They've been doing that. So then Vernon King film isn't even, you know, it's not new. Oh, it's not new at and all. And then Grind King did it for a while, too. And Grind mm-hmm. King. You know, I had a, I had a strong no. love for Grind King. A little bit. I Wait, how did, that, how did it feel grinding with those things? It, it was didn't very feel odd. the grind. Yeah. That's why. Right. Yeah. 
it was like rolling but the thing is is that we'd be rolling down the street and i'm like i'm gonna roll on this grind right next to you guys and people were like you know <laughs> yeah yeah at some point i thought people were jealous but i think they're just kind of <laughs> like yeah <laughs> I want to try Z rollers so bad. I've yeah. never. I'm not going to pay a thousand dollars. There's a lot really? of pro skaters that use yeah. the Z rollers for certain things that didn't grind in their video parts. Yeah. I'm not going to say no names though. I heard. Uh, I heard Felix. It's true. Felix Aguirre. Oh. Felix was cheating. I didn't know that. No, but like, there's. It's a gnarly one he did in San Diego. It's like it's got this crazy fat like. I don't even know, like thing at the end of it, really? and he grinded it and he went off of it, he, and I heard that's he used him for that, which kind of makes sense. Yeah, okay. yeah. I, you yeah. know what? You is really it cheating? Think about it too, is you're not really cheating. Not you're really, because you're not even you waxing still the leg. That, <laughs> right. You still got to get on that fifty-fifty <laughs> or whatever it is, and you still got to write it out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah it's yeah. not going to give you some super ability for me to. It's going to be an adjustment calls. too. It's not going to feel the same by any means. So yeah. you got to get used to that well, feel. Yeah, it's like asking if waxing a leg is cheating. You know, right? You're very good at that. There you go. Very good at cheating there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, I didn't realize. I mean, Z <laughs> and you know, it's funny is that whole cheating thing about Z rollers is people would say that to you, and you know you're offended, like wow, you know. So seems hard. There's a lot more. There's a lot of things coming at you when you're using those things. Well, Z rollers. I mean, you. It, they just stopped being cool, right? It was just like one day it was like, okay, you got yeah, adventure. They indies. had its time, and the thing is, I'll never take anything away from Z roller. Like, they, sure, they were part of me growing up, and I really embraced like the style of like. Second, I, you know, of course, the original Z Boys, I like them, but I didn't grow up on them. I grew up on the second generation Z Boys that were from Carson. They rode for this skate shop called Mom's. It's mm -hmm. like Mom's Skate Shop, and we used to always go against them in these old catch it contests for shops. Mm. Those dudes would show up. Hair was all pomade back. They had these big dickies on. They looked like they banged, and big I was like, dickies. damn, this is so relatable. You know, <laughs> these guys really look like people I would hang out with. Yeah. And I was like, these dudes are sick, and they were just doing like big. Their launch ramp skills were just insane, so I was really inspired by them. So I started getting Z rollers, and I I actually tried to make myself look like I was already sponsored by the Z boys. Oh, you know what I mean? Right, I had right. all the I had all the posters and the pictures on my wall. I like this dude Mark Jones doing like a three foot high ollie off a launch ramp. Mm -hmm. and Butch Sturbin's doing a frontside grind on this wall, and I was like, I think these are my guys. These are. These are who I'm gonna inspire. Like sure. I'm gonna you know, try bro. to become. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So are Z rollers <clears throat> post copers? No, nah, copers are kinda around the same time. Yeah, at the same time. I think Z rollers are trying to just get into like they're trying to find like some sort of market. Little, like niche. This, yeah. 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 little niche. Yeah. Probably sure. good for slash and pool coping. No, for sure. You know? They're good for anything. I, I've never <laughs> skated them, but I, I always want to try one. I'm like, I really want to try hey, a Z eleven hundred bucks. Dude. I ain't paying that much get for a Z roller a just to try them. I have some in my old garage. Oh yeah, like get, my hook, dad hook says, me I'm up. Let's yeah, get back <laughs> on. But if I do find them, I'm put them on the website too. Let's get back on. They're going right on eBay. Did you ever I think what I think what you're saying though is like cause I I grew up around the world guys, you um, plan B 101 so I mean I always try to emulate that as well like Eric Costin was my guy like yourself you know um, I think we all kind of gravitate towards that were you gravitating towards shit like that when you were the worm like people you wanted to be crews that you wanted to be a part of uh, no not really I mean I didn't really understand any of it you know like I was buying skate videos and watching them like I just wanted to have a, a trick in a video that was my dream <laughs> right, you know right. like to be in the video you know like uh of course it was an influence when like you know day one all the pros would come through mm. uh you know the, the the skate park and and uh seeing those guys like i don't know i think i was i was more like trying to just get like that recognition i always was like the the dude trying to like hang with the pro and uh play him skate you okay, know okay and, you know like feel like but that's good though because you had that confidence in you to like want to play him skate i was terrified of pros when i saw them oh, i yeah. just thought that they were just yeah you know, they were just in a place where i shouldn't say anything untouchable to them. Yeah. type yeah. well it's cr crazy you met rodney like at that young of an age yeah. that's in the first pro i guess the but the first pro I ever met, I didn't really meet him, but I just said what's up to was Christian Asoy at this, oh. this old Galleria demo at, um, it's like the South Bay Galleria on uh, Artesia Boulevard in Hawthorne. And they, I heard there was going to be a demo. Damn. And I was just Asoy. like, what? Mm. So then they were skating. What year was this? What year? Oh, 80 God, this something? This had to have been like 80, this had to have been like 88 or okay, something. Okay, I was going to say, know? yeah, later. And I went up to him, I was like, Christian. He's like, what's up, man? Like, he said <laughs> I, thought, I, thought, I, thought, I thought for a second he was Christian. like, Christian. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no. But he's like, I was, he was a big influence on me, just how he skated and like, you know, just his, 
his personality when I saw him, I was just like, he was, you know, he was just, he seemed like he was enjoying himself. He yeah. was enjoying his life. And I was like, you know, that looks like fun. You was know? he cool? He was cool. And he just told me, like, keep skating. He pointed or something at me. I was like, yeah. <laughs> 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 Shirt open, yeah. flare going on. He was, right? bigger was, than li- he was bigger than life at that, yeah, that moment, he was. bro. He was so he was. Is he your favorite skater? He, I mean, growing up, he was one of my favorite skaters. And he still, I mean, of course, I still love Hosoi. And I see him all around now. And it's He's crazy because, you know, as you're growing up, you never have... You know, you, you can't see the future, and you never know, like, who you're going to end up knowing very well later. You, you know, I thought of Christian Asso, all I did was watch him on, like, these old videos, like Savannah Slam, a Gotcha Grind. These are, like, OG videos from back in the days, and nobody, you know, you wouldn't even know about him. <laughs> but I got <laughs> He would have his Jimmy Z's where you just whoosh, with the velvet. No, about the Jimmy Z's. About the Jimmy and Z's. even the the um the the spandex shorts. Yeah. I, I ran those under the Jimmy Z's because those Jimmy Z's were so flared out that sometimes like you're yeah. like yo, you gotta, whoa, you, man, you gotta <laughs> catch a glimpse yeah. of something. You know? <laughs> yeah. Make sure you got some da dun 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 That's right. That's right. <laughs> but um, yeah, what was, year did you start? I started about. I'd say like around 88, 88? 88, okay. 87, so yeah. this is very close to meeting Kasoy is very close to when you first started. Yeah. A couple of years. Yeah, so I mean, like I said, but I just, I was so invested in watching all the videos. Like Tori said too, is those videos were all we had. Right. You know? mm-hmm. Little what, magazines, little videos. This is from Speed Freaks, Christian Kasoy. Yeah, I mean, look at like the kit. Just got the Jimmy Z's. He's got the cut off shirt. He's got the flare. Oh, Jimmy Z's were pump. shorts. Yeah. yeah. Oh the shit. They had pants too. They had, sure. yeah, no, they no, had no, 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 no. They had pants too. They yeah. had a whole. It was a whole. <laughs> it was a whole <laughs> yeah. Do you remember the Jimmy Z hat? That thing that they yeah. You know, wear, like, mm-hmm. No. It's like kind of like a beret. Huh? Beret. Yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah. <laughs> Tori definitely didn't remember that. Yeah. Uh, yeah, but he was just killed it. There's this one. This is a little this, before my time. Yeah. As well. This is a little bit. Yeah. This is me. I came in right after. Roger. Me day one and Roger. Yeah. Wheels of Fire, like Kosoy has a session at Raging Waters where they made this big ramp, and I was like, wow. The song and everything. I think the song is... uh this Claus Grabke song that uh, goes yeah, with it. Claus Grabke, dude. Wow. Isn't this Christian's, flying, isn't this Christian's ramp? No, this it's is, not. No, no okay. This dude got all the ladies, too, back then. I mean, oh, yeah. he was like He was a rock star. It. That's what it's yeah. all about. He was a rock star. <laughs> he was with, he was with uh, Lou Rawls' daughter. I think Lou Rawls. <laughs> really? Like, daughter. Yeah, yeah. I mean, wow. he, was out here, he was out there dating Madonna. He was just wow. he was just living life. and. When I met him, though, the first Super time, I didn't know all that information. I just, sure, sure. I just saw him in videos, and I was just, you know, that's just what you, you know, you do as yeah. a kid. You see somebody in a video, you like the way they skate, and you respect them, and you just hope you can one day just do anything that they were, you know, that you've seen them do. Right. Just hope, yeah. dream. Right. Dude. Yeah, it's, it's crazy. Yeah. And then through time, I ended up meeting him when he had left, and he started, like, a, a different board brand, and I would see him always at this uh, little skate park in downtown L.A. called Transitions. Mm-hmm. Yes. And I always see him, I'm like, damn, I'm getting to know this guy. This is crazy. And <laughs> that was really in East cool. L.A., right? Yeah. yeah. That's when they Wait, had all those little hood parks. Yeah. Like, they had Lip Slide. They had East yes. uh, They had... Um, Lip Slide. Lip Slide. I remember entering a so contest, and it was Kenny Anderson's brother would always come to those mini ramp contests and we're like, damn, man, because he was really good at the mini ramp. <laughs> <laughs> ain't nobody, getting, brother first, was a mini ramp ain't nobody getting first on this side. That's going to be <laughs> him probably. But And when he didn't show up, you're like, yes. But then he would just sneak out of nowhere like, damn. Yeah. <laughs> I just realized, I'm just putting the math together. You got sponsored like two or three years after you started <clears throat> skating. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Pause. Pause podcast. Okay. I need to tell you guys that this episode is brought to us by Athletic Greens. Ooh, we love Athletic Greens. We do. This is gold in a box, right? Love this stuff. <laughs> With one delicious scoop of Athletic Greens, you're absorbing 75 high quality vitamins, minerals, whole food source, superfoods, probiotics, and Kelly's favorite thing in the whole world, aptogens. I love there aptogens. This special blend of ingredients supports your gut health, your nervous system, your immune system. Your energy, recovery, focus, and aging. Well, not only that. Ooh, tell me, Drone. Contains less than one gram of sugar, no GMOs, no nasty chemicals, or artificial anything while still tasting good. Nothing budget, only nothing, buttery, right? Nothing budget, yeah, please. Yeah. But it also supports better sleep quality and recovery as well. Tons of people take multivitamins, but mm. it's important that you choose one with high quality ingredients that your body will actually absorb. And it's also better when you, you know, uh, not to have a full medicine cabinet full of, you know, supplements. Oh, man. You know, wait, wait so I can get rid of all my supplements? Yeah, I was just over at Kelly's house the other day, opened the cap, I was hit with supplements. Get the trash can. Yeah. <laughs> Throw them in there. To make it easy, Athletic Greens is going to give you a free one-year supply of immune-supporting vitamin D and five free travel packs with oh. your first purchase. All you have to do is just visit athleticgreens.com slash nine club. That's N-I-N-E-C-L-U-B. 
Again, athleticgreens.com slash nine club. Take ownership of your health and pick up the ultimate daily nutritional insurance today, there which is. is Athletic Greens. <laughs> Take over your health now. How did you even start skating? Start skating. I started skating from just seeing people around the, um, seeing people around my like little area in my neighborhood, you know. And uh, I wanted to do it, but it was hard because my mom was so strict. She mm-hmm. didn't let me do anything. She was like, you know, she was super strict. I had to like sneak it. And then when she took off and disappeared, that was my window to just mm-hmm. kind of get out. Oh, wow. That's when I started to like. Actually, she did buy me my first skateboard though. And I always tell people this too: is just she's bought, she bought me one super generic skateboard from uh, this little department store, like a Gemco, like a Walmart, mm-hmm, pretty much. Mm-hmm. And two weeks later, it got stolen at a donut shop. That's no way! <laughs> yeah. So the fascination with donuts. Uh, it uh, must be like this weird for board? thing that happened at that moment. Was uh, and then I was so upset the guy gave me a free donut or something. <laughs> <laughs> And all of a sudden, it <laughs> takes me back to that moment. I'm just like, oh, like donuts save, you know, did something for me and brought me back from hell. You know? Sure. Donuts I knew, saved my I life. Knew, yeah. <laughs> I love donuts. And I know that, because uh, my mom was, cr- she was crazy. My mom was nuts. Mm. She was old school. She beat me. She oh, beat wow. all of us with rose bushes, everything. You know, tied us to chairs, beat us. It was crazy. Damn. Yeah. yeah. And I'm not trying to put her on, because I mean, I love my mom. I understand. They just did it different back then. So mm-hmm. I just grew up different on like discipline. Sure, sure. Yeah. My discipline was like, not like, hey, I'm going to take your switch. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your switch. <laughs> Mine was, I'm going to switch your ass open with a <laughs> rose bush. <laughs> Damn. Wow. And so she then disappeared and then you like you said you had kind of carte blanche so i had a little uh, yeah i got that window like my dad was always working so mm. this was my moment to have that freedom right so i ended up getting spare parts from everybody else when i first started skating i was using these little roller skate wheels okay from a roller skate I just took them off i had these old invader trucks i don't even know who made those at the time straight and frankenstein then, and then this guy gave me this old billy ruff board that was just like billy ruff. it is an mm. old one mm, yes good shape <laughs> it's a good one. Tori knows about that Billy. Oh, Ruff. about the Billy Ruff? <laughs> <laughs> it's Day one's first board. My first board, yeah. <laughs> Remember, I sent you that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I sent him a photo. I was like, oh, "This shape's pretty sick." It's like, but it's not. It wasn't that good. Right. But right. Um, and then I just kind of went from that. And the thing is, is it took me so long to learn how to ollie, but I could do like a three sixty judo off a lawn trap. Mm-hmm. You progressed different back then. De- yeah. Definitely. There was like a highlight of what people that you were watching did. So that's what you just went for. So I just went for lawn tramping, just like kids now. Some kids can't even, they can't, they probably can't ollie over like four boards, but they could probably hard flip off sure. ten. Sure. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They can <laughs> barely push up to the ten. Yeah. And they're yeah. hard flipping it. Yeah, yeah. So that's how I learned. I went straight lawn tramp 360 airs judos mm-hmm. and stuff and then mm-hmm. i was still trying to figure out how is an ollie like how do you ollie i always thought it was a big crack and you banked it super hard and it sent uh, your yeah, yeah, back yeah. truck up and i was like yeah. that's an ollie and i'd watch and go there's no crack there, I don't know, <laughs> how do they're that. doing this and then finally i started to get used to that so right pretty crazy. right what's crazy to me is like you just got into the world camp so early it was, what was that? No, nothing. It's oh. just when he said, like, hey, let's go launch ramping. Let's go launch <laughs> ramping. <laughs> hey, let's go skate. That's something that thing. me and Tori let's, never let's grew go up saying. Yeah, launch ramping today. I never had ever Sorry, said that. We yeah. definitely yeah, did no. some launch ramping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> we would push, we would push launch ramps miles to find the perfect ground. Right. And that was our session, was just going across streets and pushing yes. them across street lights to get to this parking back or, lot. Back at grocery stores. Yeah. Fucking, yeah. Well, we're going to go launch ramping after the show. Yeah. So. <laughs> okay, you're going to be good. Yeah, dude. Maybe we'll find animal chin. Ooh. See, hey. Tori knows his history. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but you did, um, you got in the world camp early and then when you met uh, Tori through DVS, but yeah. you met him a early, little earlier than DVS. I met him a little earlier the... when he was younger. Sure, when, sure. When he was with Shorties and then with DVS, I think... Uh, I mean, we were on DVS together for a long time. Ten years. Yeah. Did did you were you responsible for getting Tori into the world camp as well? Wait, what do you mean later? Yeah, yeah, yeah. With, yeah. with almost. Yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course, okay. I was the one pressing him to like come that. Really? Direction. Yeah. Mm-hmm. How was it? How was it getting being pressed by day one? I was to come? pressing I mean, him. No, but you know, know, I, no, I, we know I, what I'm you sorry. mean though. It's like, yeah. yo, come over with us. I was you just kind of instigating, like, you know, come on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Well, I, know, I had heard that Jeron, Jeron was trying to get him on chocolate too, yeah, right? Was. Ooh, yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> I, I so, almost thought I, that he was on. <laughs> like, oh he, yeah, he's no, on. I mean, dude, I shook, I shook Jeron's hand and everything. Yeah, and Tori was fighting to get on something else though. He was holding out for something else. Wait, wait, wait. Wait. You Who can are say you holding? 
Yeah, uh, you can say it now. Well, that's the thing, you know, like with 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 that whole thing when 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 Daywan brought me in, like when I actually went went through with it, yeah, because he was pressing me. <laughs> uh, but, it, <laughs> but but it wasn't like that. I was it, like it, last it, resort. It, it, <laughs> it, it just it made me realize like how much Daywan cared for me how much sure. he had my back that he believed in me you right. know and like throughout that time yeah i was i left shorties um tim gavin wanted me to leave shorties so that's why i left because of dvs and short okay when i was on dvs yeah so it's just like hey you got to leave shorties mm. so i i made that decision i did it but then yeah it was it was like hey well, you know i want to get on alien that oh, was your thing you know because okay. when when getting on dvs mikey taylor just growing up around the valley mm. you know like i mean alien that. was popping like, so back like, then i wanted, I wanted to get on alien popping. yeah it was it was at that like and um you know that point where alien was like you know, yeah yeah was really, was and like dill was really pushing for mm. me and like you know he had my back and um what happened though Wait, wait, wait! You're getting. I wasn't patient, you know. Uh, I, I, I was getting alien boards. I went on a, a trip. I even like, you know, like was featured at a demo. <laughs> you okay. Know? And um, yeah, I was just kind of just like wanted that confirmation. Like, let's let's check the box. Check it off. Okay. And um, you know, Greg Hunt was like, "Yo, just check, like keep filming for that like, that video part," you know. And I was just like, "Well, are you gonna put me on?" You know. Yeah. Oh. And um, and then. Uh, yeah, that's when, like, you know, you're just, like, out and about. It's, like, you're with the dogs and, like, hey, aliens should put you on. They ain't put you on. They're, like, oh, you start hearing from other people. Yeah, 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 yeah. Gerard's, yeah. like, Gerard. I'm sure day one was a little we're bit, getting, yeah. No, no, I stopped. I stopped pressing Tori, but I was just kind of waiting. Because I was, like, let's yeah. see if any of that pans out. Because those were his, you know, you want somebody to kind of, you know, you want them to well, get on what they really want. Day one on, had really. my back yeah. to get on almost. And at the time, I just, like... At the time, mm -hmm. um, I just felt like there was like some sort of weird like like thing with with being involved with Sheckler and like I me and Sheckler being on the that. same yeah. company because mm -hmm. we skated castle contests since we were eight years. You were old almost like little rivals. Together. No, well, we were actually good friends. Yeah, um, but then like yeah, there was kind of like this comparison like oh Tori and Sheckler mm -hmm. who's better this and that and I was just like oh man I, I don't really like want that comparison you know you want like, to go off on your own um, direction you know sheckler killing it obviously and um and then like jerron's like i'm i'm gonna get you on chocolate that, i i, I, tr I wholeheartedly well, was trying to well, like really reach you know what i'm saying because i i believe that you fucking deserve the spot yeah mm -hmm. totally and uh yeah, he's like, welcome to the team, man. <laughs> I did. I'm gonna talk. I, I, I'm gonna talk this way. I truly believe it was there, gonna dude. work. We were, we were, we were uh, drunk in England. Yeah, talking about that whole situation. We took pictures and shit. Like, like he's on the <laughs> team. <laughs> welcome yeah. to the team, dude. We celebration. That's amazing. Yeah. So, <laughs> yeah. so it's I not like not approach you after that. It's not like I, I didn't like leave Alien Flow or nothing. You know, I just yeah. I came back and I went into girl and, and got chocolate boards and I was like, ah, oh, dude, stoked to ride chocolate boards. So I'm skating, filming, doing my thing, you know, uh, and then, yeah, it was kind of like that, like, you know, like, they were hooking me up, maybe as a favor for Jerron. <laughs> no, but but it was cool. I, I, I asked those dudes, like, I remember I, I called Smythe, and I was like, hey, you know, like, am I going to get on the team? And and he um, he just said, you know, if you get other offers, I suggest you take it. Mm, um, yeah, and yeah, I was yeah. like, ah. Oh. It's one of those. Okay. Yeah. You know, and, I was like, and, and, that's when Tori was thinking about me. That's when he yeah. called you. <laughs> and after that, last yeah. resort, day one. Oh, yeah. Fine. No, it wasn't even like that, though, because <laughs> it was. Yeah. <laughs> well, you, well, you, but you remember, day one was here. You remember, I tried to get, you remember I tried to get on Enjoy. Oh, yeah. I tried to get See, on Enjoy. It was really the last time. I'm telling you. I'm telling you. Because Enjoy offered me. Okay. And at, at the same time that, like, you know, day one had my back. He had my back this whole time. Yeah. yeah you know, yeah. this is over like two years. And, um, you know, both those brands coming from Dwindle, I think day one caught wind that I got a box mm. from Enjoy, but also got a box from Almost at the same time. So I'm like kind of riding both brands. I'm not thinking twice about it. Like how, how am I, you know, like double dipping. looking, double dipping. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And uh, I got the call from day one, like, yo, dude, like, if you want to skate for enjoy dude just like you know do do what you want to do man like you know it, it's all good like whatever you feel and i was like nah day one <laughs> <laughs> I, wa I want to rock with one. you man <laughs> i want to skate for almost and he was like yeah, fuck those dudes man like, <laughs> 
think I said that. He's like, here, well, maybe not. He's, he's, like, like, he's like, immediately says that. Here, <laughs> <laughs> it was immediate hype, you know? Like, <laughs> It's probably like just not fuck those dudes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. I'm, trying was, to get, I'm trying to get him like, to join in on that. And be like, oh, you said that? Okay, well, then you probably, probably want to come this way. He's like, I know. I, I recorded that. He's like, I, send he's, it to he's like I know what those guys are going to pay you, dude. Like, no, 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 dude. Like, skip for almost, dude. Like, yeah. And, um, dude, honestly, like, that was so awesome because from having shorties as, as a little kid and dvs mm -hmm. but then like being jumped into like a real family with almost right. like almost like meant so much to me as family yeah, yeah you yeah. know and and day one and uh just just being involved with rodney mm -hmm. and then just and we had luis the whole, too luis, 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 yeah. luis was always there and he's always been a friend oh, and he was best. always good and then tori got real close with luis marnell which mm -hmm. was got oh, real yeah. close with marnell you know? and, and you know was, when he passed it was just you know it was hard right but, right you know, yeah. it was, you know tori just and he added something to the team that we needed. We had that kind of, you know, Tori. Mm -hmm. Like I said, like Jerron knew, Jerron saw something too, and so did I. Sure. And some people who were kind of sleeping on him, we were just like, what are you guys doing? Tripping. Just, this kid's, Next he's level. always doing is going up. His yeah, pop's yeah. just getting more and more. He's just getting, you know, it's, he's just Backs getting better and buildings better. And yeah. yeah. <laughs> and we saw that, me and Jerron, you know, because me and Jerron, or Hope, me and Jerron are kind of almost similar as in how we, I feel like we have that so, like that old soul or like. Yeah, I mean, we've been in this for a we've minute. We've been in it for a while and we see mm -hmm. something or we see something in someone and if somebody else doesn't see it, we're just like. What is going we on? We want to let these kids, you know, we want like kids or just anybody to know like, God, you have it. So don't let any, don't get discouraged by like somebody saying like, I don't know if we can use you because that can mess you up too. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. 100%. Tori could, Tori could have started thinking like, dude, like. What's going on? Right. Tori harnessed all that energy, bro. All that yeah. the shit that where he who where he didn't get hooked up. He's like, all right, well, cool. I'm a, I'm yeah. a, I'm gonna show y'all. Yeah, well, you going. know, the thing is, it's like um, being like younger and then like just like wanting the sponsor that you want, mm -hmm. you know. But like then like facing reality and the truth, it's like y you can't always get that. Yeah, you know what I mean. <clears throat> but like seeing and learning that like what true friends and 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 family is mm -hmm. like when day one had my back and always had my back even all those through those years of dvs like that's that's that what is what i learned that really means the most in skateboarding sure. is like friends and family that have your back in it and that's that's way more important than like like oh i want to skate for this sponsor because it's it's like my dream you know because right. it ain't the dream mm -hmm. you know it ain't gonna be your family you know if that had worked out for me my career wouldn't be the same yeah you know? i didn't fit there and, yeah. and that's 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 cool i think almost was really like the best yeah i mean it was no it worked too. out perfectly but the thing is yeah. the best also, moment in my career but what i'm saying what, what i'm hearing you say is too is like you i mean you obviously like experienced that and figured it out for yourself rather than letting other people you know what i mean which i think is important for too, sure is like finally making that decision you know to like go with almost yeah you know what's, I mean, the, what's the tough part is with the he hearing it from your friends that's like you know that friends that aren't in skate they're like you should be on that team and that yeah. it gets you all gassed up <laughs> yeah. and true like, true what's well, just anything I, yeah people start instigating something and it, it, it's you know it's it's too much especially when they don't know how it feels to like be in that position yeah just yeah. like how come they ain't mess with you? I mean, I, I guess I was doing that too when I said <laughs> enjoy, but that was different. No, but, but the the, the best part about the, the the whole experience for me is like, and, and this is like something I'll remember for the rest of my life is when day one said, hey, if you want to skate for enjoy, go skate for enjoy. Mm -hmm, you know, mm -hmm. do what you want to do. Right. And I made that decision right on the spot. Like, and, nah, yeah. I want to rock telling, with you. And I remember yeah. telling Tori specifically too, because I knew he was going to blow up to like, just do like, because they were... You know, they're kind of. I hated contracts too back then, but there, you know, there was a contract too, and I was telling Tori just do like a year contract, because mm -hmm. who knew like where mm -hmm. he, you know, if he was, if something else opened up where he was really, yeah. I don't oh, was this direction. for almost? Yeah. yeah. So you told him just one year, even though you wanted him, you were even looking out for him that much, where well, you like just, just do saying, a year because you don't know where you're gonna go. I feel like it's it's pointless to hold on to somebody who doesn't want to be amazing. There. You know, Straight some up. people try to. That's like, a good. That's a, that's yeah. a true friend. I feel, like, right there. Yeah. I feel like it's you know he's a friend. Yeah. And he's like he's growing. He's he's young still mm -hmm. in the industry. I, we I've been in it for so long already. He just needed those options instead of being tied down. Like oh sure. I can't go anywhere. Oh we're gonna. You know, we're gonna make sure you can't leave, and it's like, why and don't almost you do as that? your baby yeah. too, right? Mm -hmm. So it's I like, mean, it kind of was. Yeah. I mean, I was, you know, almost came about with me and Rodney, me leaving um, 
a brand I was doing, which everything was still out of Dwindle. So it's mm. like I was with Dwindle for 29 years. Damn. Jeez. Wow. It's a long time. Wow. By the way, I love Ryan Sheckler. He's one of my best friends. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Just want to clear the air. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Right. Well, since, we're, since we're clearing the air, DVS has nothing to do with my name either. People, <laughs> really? People he, thought it was Day One? Some uh, binary, I don't know. Dave, <laughs> Dave, Dave Von, Song. Von Song or something. Dave a lot Von? of people still think really? that to this day. Oh, I never wow. thought about I never that. I was just at Disneyland the other day and it was like, hey, Dave Von Song. I'm like, what? Dave DVS. Von Song? DVS. Dave Von. <laughs> and, they go, and then I was just thinking Day One and my middle name somehow has a V in it and song and i was like i don't think there's any asians with the eh, actually there's a lot of v's and asian yeah, middle okay. names aren't there i don't know I don't me know. neither <laughs> davon song versace but people versace. thought that it somehow i was you know one of the owners and i wasn't so i'm just mm. trying to clear the air no you're so good you guys get those dvs <laughs> they have nothing to do with me <laughs> so what you but you were saying something about the um almost being your baby and um you started it after a few boards after you, well, yeah, 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 yeah 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 well i left uh I was doing DECA for a while. DECA. Was that was like, epic, mm -hmm. dude. And it was, that all, was, that was, it was all, it was all just friends. You know, me, Marcus, JB, mm -hmm. Shiloh, Enrique. Luis, Enrique, Marcos, from Marco Romero. Yeah, and dude. Brian Horde. Like, we had, like, a Cooper Wilt, Chris yeah. Haslam later down the line. And then, actually, Chris and uh, Haslam and uh, Cooper Wilt came up later. It's when DECA was kind of dying, and then we were trying to kind of redo the whole team, mm -hmm. basically. Because the problem with some businesses... It's it's hard, you know, when you're dealing with people and people don't want to do anything anymore, and you, they're kind of like attacking you about like, hey, what's up? What's going on with the brand? I'm like, I don't have that much control here sure. either. So, mm. you know, it just kind of got, it just kind of got, uh, it just kind of kind of got hard with me trying to deal with friends and in mm -hmm. business. Because there was a lot of different companies that were kind yeah, of under your under your under your kind of. Well, yeah. Identity. Once, once I Deco, was, Deco was dope. Yeah. I learned back tails on Deco board. So that was my, oh, that was my first skinny board. Yeah. <laughs> See, we started it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, but I feel you. I feel you, Dave. Like having that responsibility and having everybody, everybody like reach. Yeah, toward, and you got call really, you, you got for, really good friends about mm. like, can you press these guys? You know, they're me again trying to press somebody. It's like <laughs> yeah, you yeah. press them to get me like them a raise or do this and stuff. Oh. And I'm just like, how am I gonna even introduce that to them when you're not even doing anything? Totally. It's like, what do I? What am I right. taking to them? So mm. it just got overwhelming for me, and I kind of just felt like it was time for that thing to just die out. Mm -hmm. How did you even, why did you leave World to start Deca? World sold. Okay. Right? And so you're just like, I'm going to start And something. it's funny because I was super upset about that because I had already put in about close to nine years with World. Right. Yeah. And I was just like, and then they just, you know, and at that time I was young. I didn't know what was going on. They sold. That's weird. Mm -hmm. go, but you can stick with it. I'm like, what does that even mean? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I'm like, no, how about I just start a different brand under this same dwindle yeah. distribution I'm like yeah we can do that for you so we, then that's what we did which that's was well. weird because like when world sold it almost like didn't seem from the outside looking in it was kind of this i mean they they obviously went a different direction with yeah. world but like and, I, it, and was, it was hard to understand back then too when something yeah. sold you're like wait what's going on and you know now you think about it and you're like okay we know yeah. what you were doing so. sure sure what how did deca become a name Deca became a name because I almost put in a decade with World. Oh. And then all of a sudden, this I, John Thomas at the time, too, like had brought it up like Deca, decade, like 10. Mm. And I'm like, that's okay. That's like, makes a little sense. Like, I would have been on 10 years with World yeah. if it didn't. Oh, wow. So, so then we went. It's a long time. And then we yeah. kind of did. I uh, ever knew that. Yeah, yeah, I never knew it either. And then we went to, and, you know, we started Deca, and it just, Deca was like a little. Listen, if you had like a little hood kind of yeah. company, I loved it. I just was like, we were if, just, if you were on for twelve years, it you could have been like Baker. Baker's does it. Yeah. <laughs> you could have been. You could have been. I know. Look at that. They, they, yeah. Baker was already taken though. Oh, yeah. Sure. Sure. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. My bad. Uh, amazing though. Deca me, vision, dude. De sneak preview. Then we left, but then Deca, you know, after three years plus, mm -hmm. we died it out, and then. Uh, we started that small little company Artifact. called Artifact. 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 Mm. I just Artifact. brought that up the other day. Which was hilarious. Yeah. The ads were supposed to be all epic, like, mm -hmm. oh, crazy spots. Where are you guys out, out in, like, we don't know where you're at. But that's how the ads looked, you know? They were, yeah. It's like on a rock, like, yeah. next yeah. to the ocean yeah. somewhere yeah. or something. Mm -hmm. I was like, and even, this? like, the logo, I drew this thing, and now I look at it, it looked like an Atari logo. <laughs> or it looked like a... A, a deformed squid. I was like, I don't, know, I don't know what I was thinking. A deformed squid. Oh yeah, don't even look it, it up. Did, it he's it on it. He's don't looking even, it up right now. It did look like a squid. It looks like a, a cone off its. Uh, it looks like ice cream off its cone melting on the floor. <laughs> oh, we're gonna find it. Oh, we're gonna find it. You bad. did the logo though. Yeah. Amazing. Didn't you, I mean, didn't you also do the, the? Didn't you also do the Maddox logo? 
You, I did you do the first. The yeah, I did do the first. Max the, level. the thing with the M. They want Ace and Art. Really? Just, just a little squiggle. He could, squiggle? He, dude, he could draw I mean, your the, fantasy dream house. Well, architect yeah. too. I did. I did do some fantasy <laughs> dream houses. Won three years in a row. Yeah. What do you mean? <laughs> they, we, they used to have these. Um, they used to have these school contests where you, uh, this real estate company would come in, okay. and like the kids, all the kids could kind of, you know, they could submit like their dream house of what their dream house would be, and I would draw. I drew this one next to a cliff with like a dog. Real close to the cliff, which I shouldn't have, because you know, it's, people now would be like, "Whoa, that dog's a little dang like close." Yeah. To the cliff. <laughs> you know what I mean? You can fall pro- over. You can fall over. Yeah, you probably get heat for that now, yeah. but it was a dog tennis court and all this stuff. And I mean, it was, and I won three years in a row for these dream house. There contests you go. Okay. For this wow. company called Fredericks, Fredericks Realty. Oh. So, what did you win? Savings bonds. Oh yeah. Really? And my mom, when she disappeared, oh. so did those. <laughs> 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 Wow. Hey, real quick. I mean, they were like for like 100 and 150 bucks and like oh, okay. something else. They wouldn't yeah. for Hey, real quick, since we're on the, like, the companies that were going through uh, Dwindle and stuff, when Girls Start first formed, were you were you involved in, in <laughs> no, no, no conversation? I was MIA. I was oh, gone. Okay. I was out in Long Beach thinking I was like a, a race car driver slash like <laughs> kicking up people trying to do stupid things. And okay. You were checked out almost. I was kind of checked out of skating at that time. Mm. So when they left, and then that's when I heard Daniel had got shot too. Oh, yeah. And I was like, mm. what? And my whole thing too is during that time, I was in a messed up place in my Mm. life. And I just didn't want any contact with skating. I just wanted to just be where I was. I was hanging out in the Wrigley out in Long Beach. I had got wind of it like and heard, and I was like, what? And it just tripped me out. I was like, what's going on? And then everybody was leaving. And they are, because right during that time too, is I was kind of, like, even, yeah, I mean, you like you said, you were doing your own thing. You're kind of like, thing. you know, was, you, you you would come in here and there where you know. If okay, pure example is like for twenty shot sequence too. Mm-hmm. I was kind of usually I had full parts when that video came around. I had like seven clips, mm. and you can just tell it was kind of like on my way out. Interesting. And I remember Shiloh even calling me and going like, "Hey, Day, I think they're considering kicking you off." And I was like, "Oh, okay, well." I mean, it is what it is. You know what I mean? Because I was, like I said, I was like charging people to drop their cars. I was out in driveways, like underneath people's cars. Oh, you were getting into a whole whole different world. Yeah, I was cutting their springs. I was doing whatever it took to like get their cars lowered. Even like probably even like you know slightly ripping people off, but not. You know what I mean? (laughs) Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who knows? I mean, spray painting their. Spray painting their springs yellow, like hey, I got you the new. What brought you? What brought you back in? (laughs) You know what I mean? Like, I was just trying to hustle. I just, I had, I needed a hustle because skateboarding, in general, back then too, wasn't giving me much. Mm. So, what brought you back into skating though? I think that that brought me back into skating. That That phone call, really? Okay. That phone call. I think the phone call from Rodney and. um, Didn't you bring your ankle as well? uh, You broke your ankle. That was later though, right? No, I broke my ankle in uh, back in like '93. Okay. Yeah. So. Oh, this is no, later. no, it was no, but that's that, gnarly. The ankle break, it put me out for a little bit, but that th- that wasn't during the time where I kind of disappeared mm. from skating. I don't know. It's like I'm so confused. I feel now. like when you broke your ankle, you were still around. You were on crutches. You were doing your thing. Yeah. Like you were around, though. I remember seeing I was, you were around. I broke my foot around '93. Okay. But I was still around. But actually, like Roger was saying, it kind of like went from that point. And then I, I was just kind of, like, I started to kind of gradually get over it, I guess. Was it the kickflip over the ga- grass gap thing? The hard flip? Uh, how was I landed in a hot pocket, huh? <laughs> <laughs> that one looked like I broke my ankle, the way I like, the way I hot pocket when I landed. <laughs> but I didn't. I thought it was over the yeah, g- grass the gap. Park, right? No, I oh, broke my I broke park? my foot at the World Park, oh. just messing around trying to do a judo off a little baby launch ramp. Oh, man. Mm. And that's me bringing back like. But you didn't even get it checked out. Yeah, you didn't even right. You didn't I even. Never, yeah, I never got it checked out. I just kind of let it, just be. Mm. And then I started. I remember just taking like calcium pills. I don't even know how. As a kid, I go to the store and just buy a big thing of calcium pills. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah this will help. That's this will work. Help. Yeah. I borrowed some crutches from somebody. I just walked it out for about, you know, a couple of months. Damn. And it started to heal. But now, if you, when you, you know, it healed kind of like this. When you rub your, when you run your hand down the side of my There's f- a leg. There's just like that little. Pump. Dude, we got the same injury, bro. Yeah. I did the same thing. I fucking broke my ankle and never got it fixed, and I, I had the same thing on the side of my ankle. And that ankle just always looks crazy. It looks like a little, bo- you know, it looks like a little baseball. Does it bother Still. you at all? It bothers me yeah. once in a while when it gets cold, and I think that crazy. that same injury kind of got me because there was a time where I was like about jumping, like let me jump off the top of the mini ramp, let me kick mm-hmm. up this big gap, yeah, yeah, let me do this thing, and then after the injury, I was so afraid that I was gonna break my foot again because. 
the way it healed. Yeah. I was like, it's not quite on there, you know? Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. And, you know, that's just me mentally thinking that. So it already persuaded me to be like, God, I got to, like... Stay low to the ground. Yeah, yeah. stay yeah. low to the ground. Yeah. Crazy. I mean, if I had that snap like Tori, <laughs> I'll go up and get higher up. Well, with, your, with your board set up, man, there's no way you can get off the ground that high. <laughs> I, 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 you have the craziest this setup is, I've ever seen. We got to talk about his trucks real yeah, quick yeah. because like, yeah, you don't like, even ride bushing. You no, have washers I do, I, on. I do ride bushing. No, I've seen your trucks. Bushing. But, uh, the front one, the <laughs> yeah, front bushing. truck just has a bushing, you know. And, uh, <laughs> <laughs> how the hell did you come up with that? Did you just, I mean, you. No, that came about because. Uh, Okay, let's go back to trucks. I started on Z-Rollers. Yes. I went to, God, where did I go from Venture? Z-Rollers? No. Indy? I, you know, I messed around with like other trucks, but nothing felt right. Grind Kings. You were on Grind Kings for a while. Then yeah. I got yeah. on, um, no, I got on Going. Okay. I got on Going, which had this weird indention where you're supposed to lock in perfectly on a flat bar, and it's like the most dangerous type of lock no you want to do. <laughs> yeah. It's just two holes in the truck, like just so you just land like this and like, woo, woo, woo. Mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> But back then, you thought it was great. Um, then I went from that. I, I skated for Orion trucks for a little bit. No, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. yeah. Those were good. I think right. me and Deirdick were on the t- same team for a little bit. Yeah, that's, but they were breaking people off, I think, at yeah. that time. Was that through, like, stamina or something? I don't know. Yeah, it was, uh, that was, a, Deirdick. Was, that was a Deirdick situation. I think I it was a Deirdick. Climax? Yeah. Climax distribution. Oh, yeah, yeah. That's what it was. Yeah. <laughs> so then it's I skated for them. Name. And then, <laughs> I went to, then I went from Orion to Grind King. Yeah. yeah. So I'm okay. just basically saying that I've kind of stayed in the same realm if you want to talk about trucks. <laughs> yeah, but still. Hey, I mean, no, no, but I don't understand where I'm you're saying, going with this because your yeah, trucks hey, are not hey, even close hey, to hey, any hey, of them. At least, at least she didn't skate for web trucks. Web? I know. Skate for web trucks. If they would have hit me up, man, because I'm telling you, I wrote for all the trucks that people I feel like didn't really want to embrace. <laughs> yes. Okay. All the companies are like, you're on this? And then it's like, well, where are you moving the on? The Gold Wings did have the little dip right Look at that dip. I never even realized that. $322. But they were breaking off bread. They were getting some money. Dude, that does not look safe. Those are the old, I think those, you got to find. It's great for vertical skating. You got to find like an older. That's not where you want to lock in anything. We'll look at, we'll find some older. I I feel like I embraced the trucks that nobody else really. Did Gold Wing pay? Yeah, mm, they paid me barely anything, but. It was a, I was able to work with Ray Underhill at the time, and I thought he was Amazing. super cool. Yep. And then, you know, he passed, you know, rest in peace, Ray Underhill. And, yeah, man. But mm. super, mm. super genuine person. And every time I talked to him, he was the nicest person. I was just like, this, this is sick. Like, the thing that trips me out is you are a manual or tech skater, like just very precise, but your trucks are very precarious. Like they're, you, they jiggle. You know what I mean? Like you, yeah, it's, you have it's, one. Let's put, let's break it down. You have one bottom bushing and no top bushings, right? But my back truck has both bushings, so it's my stabilizer. So I stabilize with that, and my front's kind of an out of control steering wheel. But why? Yeah. <laughs> what's what's the, what's the allure to that? What? Uh, why? Well, because through time, and then okay, that's what why we talked about all those trucks, which that yeah, story yeah, went yeah. nowhere. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but what I'm saying is, I rode for Grind King, and Grind King had the reverse kingpin. Yep. So as you rode, they self-loosened. You know, they oh. they ended up loosening up by themselves, yeah. and which was scary because you don't know when that nut's going to come off. Sure. So yeah. you're just thinking to yourself, like, is it on its last little thread before it falls off and your Better truck collapses? Better strap that thing given moment. But as I was skating, and the kingpin was free, so it moved like this. Right. It's a drifting kingpin. It was a drifting kingpin. Or, uh, so it made yeah. my trucks through time rattle. Axel. Oh, okay. So it did the same thing. And I got used to that. Mm. And then when I switched from Grind King and went to Tensor, they didn't do that anymore. And it, it bugged me. Mm. I was like, "What's I can't ride this board." And I remember being on, when I had first, when I had finally switched to Tensor, I went on a Black Label tour. It was Black Label versus almost like Australia tour. I remember going to my first demo. I remember seeing Dustin Dolan there for the first time. I was like, wow, this kid is insane. Like, he was just killing it. And I was thinking, I can't do shit. You know what I mean? Mm. And I, like, look a, like a fool at this demo. I got so frustrated, I had to express and put it out there for everybody. Oh, it's my truck. You know? <laughs> <laughs> I can't ride my trucks. You know could, have, I mean? could never be you. What a joke. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> so I ended up just taking all my bushings out of the truck and just putting only washers in both and skating around like that. Interesting. Wow. Just out of, on a whim. You just tried Not it. Not on a whim, but maybe for me to be mm. like, yeah, I want everybody to know that I hate my trucks right now. You know? So <laughs> How did that work out in that, at that it demo? It was fine. I mean... It was still a nightmare, but I feel like they weren't blaming me now off my skill set. They're like, well, his trucks are all yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. So, Have you seen his trucks? I mean, you know, Lord. so I did the we, you know, we did the demo and whatnot. And through that period, I was like thinking, how can I make this 
kind of, you know, it's kind of similar to how my Grind Kings rode. So yeah. through time, I started shaving my bushings down. I started taking a bushing and shaving them down into small quarters. And I started doing that. And through time, it started to feel better and better. I and mean, that's what I got used to. And right. then to a point where I was sick of shaving bushings down. <laughs> so I was like, I'm just going to use washers in my front one so that I can get this crazy, fun little rattling thing. And the funny thing, too, is the first person to ever do that kind of stuff where the trucks rattle was this dude, Matt Rodriguez. Matt Rodriguez. Oh, yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. So Matt if you Rodriguez. want to think about rattling trucks, I won't take any credit for that. Matt Rodriguez was the first, and he did both trucks like that. No, with both? no bushing? Mm, no, he just... I think he shaved down his bushings, okay. so they were just so small. So his trucks had there was just a lot of gap between yeah. each each part. A lot of rattling, just like getting yeah. yeah. I think well, I just skated your board one. Yeah, try it out. Like it was a, it was a trick to ride the board first, and then you had to do a trick. Right. I never understood. But you get so used to it, you know what yeah. I mean. Yeah. But I will say that for certain tricks now, because I mean switch hills and nollie back hills used to be my favorite trick. Mm -hmm. With my truck like this, it's uh. It, may, it it complicates it. Yeah, sure. I can see that. Because right. you're popping off that truck. Yeah, because yeah. When, I, when I'm going for a nollie back heel now, sometimes my board will fold over too yeah. much. Mm -hmm. And I'm just getting like a little... Yeah. Do you turn it around? I can't do it off my no, nose. You can't it do feels it. Yeah. so weird. Gotcha. Yeah. yeah. It's funny too, because I had a dream. This morning I woke up doing like a buttery nolly back here <laughs> <laughs> i swear no. i woke up and i remember like at the local skate park because i when i do them they're always rocketing weird but this morning i had this dream and i did it good and i woke up like i could do i know what i need to do there you go and i'm sure I Dude, we got matt see. rodriguez right here legend straight oh, yeah. up bro yeah but matt was you know he was unique it's funny i never really i I mean, well, he I, was crazy. I, I don't know. Oh, he was oh, style for days. So man. sick, dude. And he got he got so tech too as mm -hmm. well. But he had like more of a flow. Look at his trucks. He's, yeah, they yeah. are, huh? I never noticed that. Yeah. Yeah, there's still certain lines you can see in it. I always try, hey, you skate like transition like that. It's crazy. That's he's wild. epic, man. He's yeah. he's definitely yeah. like look at that legendary. Yeah, yeah, see dude, that? Dude, that for was sure. incredible. You can see you can tell by his way his uh, truck yeah. locked right there that he had. Like, so that's what I'm there. just saying too is when I see that and people want to ask me about that, I feel like. As You're I like, was trying to get my truck to that point again, I always thought of like Matt Rodriguez mm. as well from how wobbly his were. But the washer thing too is I got lazy with shaving. Okay. Not this. <laughs> I don't need to shave that much. But I'm shaving, like, shaving the bush. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> he's a manscape, yeah. dude. <laughs> but I just started using the washers and they work out fine. They get all okay. bent up and it looks like I look down at my board. I'm like, this looks, you know, I mm. like the way it looks and I like sometimes the way it sounds. But I think it. It's crazy too, because that sound of the washer yep. rattling is the same exact sound that my Z rollers made too, mm. because those were loose against the metal oh, too. Oh, it all yeah. so goes back roll to the Z rollers, it, and I feel like it all just connected, and yeah. I just took everything and like infused it right back into my truck. It so all goes from back where it started. Yeah, all full circle. Yeah, to to the uh, Z rollers. So, we're gonna so. get Tori a pair of Z rollers, man. Tori, we're we gotta roll. We gotta yeah. roll around on. Give me a pair, dude, for sure. Get me some of those. People, uh, you had to uh, use graphite powder too to keep it so it spun. But what I did was I like WD forty. I cleaned yeah, it. I put a little lining of Vaseline. Then I Ooh, put my graphite okay. on it. I took time, like a truck chef. And I, <laughs> truck chef. Truck you know chef. what I mean? And I really went in there. And then I stopped it from rattling so much because of that little cake of Vaseline. So people are like, "How is your truck's not making that noise?" And I'm like. <laughs> yeah. they, go to my YouTube channel. Little do they know? He lubed him up. Yeah, he lubed him up. Go to my YouTube. Channel, <laughs> I don't. Bro. I don't have a YouTube. I love it. <laughs> How are we I doing? Need one, though. Yeah, let's go day one. Me, and you, we should do let's one. do one. Yeah, oh, the yeah. day one and Chris, uh, whatever. Something. We'll figure it out we'll after this. Sure. Day one and Tori should start one for sure. Oh, Dude, we should. thank you. Yeah. Thank you guys. A YouTube oh, channel. Yeah. Thank you, skateboards YouTube. Let's get over there. Let's We're on I'll, there. I'll do one of those truck sprinkling. Mm. Oh, yeah, let's go. We need to see day one lubing up his shit. No, I'll just do a. I'll just do this other one with the washers. How I, like, you know, get Look them on that. there. Thank there you. Go. There we go. There needs to be a board set up with day one. Our views oh, are pretty dude. low. That though. would be the most epic. Hey, watch. we're underground, you know. We are underground. We got thousands on there. What are you talking about? Oh yeah, as long as the K is there, huh? Yeah, we gotta we gotta talk about. Oh, uh, thank you. Thank you. Because uh, uh, first of all, day one. I mean, you you just talked. To, we just talked about dwindle and, yeah, and being, yeah, being got, there for back, yeah. nineteen. How many years were you there? 19, 20, 20? 29 years. Twenty nine years. Amazing. Twenty nine. After years. what and was it? What was the deciding? I mean, Tori starts up. Thank you. And we, we started up. Yeah, me and yeah. Me, okay. me, and, me, okay. me, okay. me and Tori. It was like an me, ongoing. Me and Tori were me and Tori were going back and forth. 
so me and Tori were going back and forth about, um, you know, Tori was just always saying, like, what do you think? And mm-hmm. it kind of was like two years me and Tori were going back and forth. Two years, okay. Yeah. So you were you were still at almost, yeah. and you were st- at plan B at this point? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Mm-hmm. And so you guys started talking about some run then. Yeah. And Tori threw out some ideas, and I was like, you know, this could be cool. And at that time, too, I was kind of burnt out. Mm-hmm. And, of course, I have nothing bad to say about the window. They've always been a home, a, a safe place, I guess you can say, of... They've supported, you know, we've supported each other. It goes back and forth. There Those things go, are like yeah. two-way streets, you Definitely. know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Like, you have to give yourself some credit, too, as a writer of what you do for a brand. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. So, and you have to give the brand, you know, you got to thank the brand, too, for being there and holding mm-hmm. on to you for so long and supporting you as well. But I was burnt out. Mm-hmm. Sure. I was like, it was just stagnant. <clears throat> yeah. You know, it's just in the same <clears throat> dirty lake. I'm not going to say dirty, but I'm just floating around in this little boat. And I'm like, I need... You, you need something to change. Else. Something yeah. new is gonna. Yeah. And Tori hit me up too. I was, it, it, you know, something in me. I got excited about it, but like I said, it just took a while. And Tori was planning it all out too, and stuff like that. So, yeah, yeah. You know, and you know, Tori was, Tori's the one that really made it happen. You know what I mean? And kept pitching it, and he was pressing me. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> he was the, tables have turned. Right. Tables, tables have, have turned. turned. Right. <laughs> Uh, Tori's like, yeah, see how it feels, huh? Yeah. Let's but go. T- like you said, the, but we've always had each other's back. Sure. And Tori had my back. Even though he said I had his back when he got on Almost, he was still getting my back for coming mm-hmm. and like riding for Almost because, you know, he brought so much to the team and gave so much. And, he, you know, he did so much for the brand. And, you know, he brought a lot more eyes to it, too, as being a young new kid with so much pop and like so much skill. It wasn't, you know, it was... It was definitely, you know, a big thank you. You know, I wanted to always say, like, thank you to him. Yeah, Just yeah. to, you know, and, you know, it just, it just ended up working out. Amazing. And, you know, I always feel bad, too, because like you said, you always feel like when you press somebody to get on a brand and if they're just kind of, it's not working out for them or they're just kind of like mm. second thinking, like, damn, why did I get on this brand? But Tori, he was always so positive and so hyped to be on the brand. I was like, see, and that's like what you want on a team is you want people to be there for a reason of just wanting to be there sure not just yeah. like oh what you know yeah that's for a paycheck yeah yeah what are you guys yeah. gonna pay me I'm, I'm going through this list of like who's gonna you know yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. but it's also like even with tori i'm sure some of the ideas he was telling you back then it's like you, you you're you're very thoughtful with what you do you know what i mean like you guys are very you know the the day 100 boards i mean we just did we uh, you just did the jerron wilson uh duck graphic you know you you're you you're, you're almost you give back a lot you know you really are thinking about the brand and, and what you guys what you, what you what you can do with it i think it's amazing i mean i i the thing about me is i i have i have so much heart for skateboarding man mm-hmm. you know it's like after i'm done skateboarding like i'll never be done like yeah. I'm, I'm gonna be the dude that's showing up to tampa am like i'm gonna be the <laughs> yeah, dude that's yeah, going yeah. to the trade show like i'm gonna always be in skateboarding i can't help it sure for some reason like like i, I it's just like it's our lives man yeah, I mean, I, I really want to, like, take it the furthest I could go, you know, just, just be all about it. And, yeah. Um, never something I ever really, like, wanted to do or thought about doing. It's just organically and naturally just more than just, like, going out and skating, being a professional or whatever, being a skater. Like, mm-hmm. you know, like, uh, I've just always looked up to skateboarding as a whole. Oh, yeah. So that's where, you know, having a vision to start a company started, you know, and, mm-hmm. and um, you know, with, with the, the uh, Juan Song's wise words of wisdom and what he <laughs> told me during these conversations was like, change is good, mm. you know, and that stuck with me and it'll stick with me for the rest of my life that change is good. Sure. You know, change that, is good. Change scares people, though. Oh, yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. And it's, it's a big thing. I like when you change, just like anything, with breakup. Sometimes you think like, oh, damn, we've so, I've invested so much time into this right. relationship. I don't know if I could what I'm going to do. At, but it, I've been th- we've all been through those breakups and we've yeah. we've moved on, you know, mm-hmm. and with skateboarding and me and Tori being on brands that we kind of put, you know, that second chance. Like I invested so much time at Dwindle. You invested a lot of time with Plan B. It was scary. Mm-hmm. And when Tori would pitch this, it always sounded like yes. But then we we're always like, oh shit! Like, but I'm about to know, give. What the, if? Yeah, uh, this what if this a... doesn't work? Uh, but and I mean, was, uh, there could be a thousand what ifs. Yeah. Right. But that change gets you so fired up. And when it finally happened, I remember just feeling, man. I f- took a deep breath, and I was just like, I remember just being so hyped and yeah. just like. This what is- was the initial 
thing that you're like, okay, we're actually doing this. Like it was that you said you talked about it for a couple of years, right? Yeah. What was that? What what happened to to make it really go down? I think it just needed to happen, and Tori <laughs> made it like just let's get let's do this, and Tori ended up finally I think quitting and telling them. Yeah. And I was like, mm. well. Here, Here we, we go. go. <laughs> did, did you have to call Rodney? Did it, you talk to Rodney about it? I talked to Rodney about it. And Rodney <clears throat> was fully supported. That's amazing. Because Rodney was just like how I, how, you know, he was as supportive as like when Tori got on almost too, and I was just like, you know, do whatever you need to do. Right. And Rodney, Rodney's doing so many other things. Like, he's just kind of, he just wants to see me happy. Sure. He doesn't care what I do as long as it's the right thing for me. I love yeah. that. So you know, he's always Rodney's my person. Like. My like was always my big brother, my guardian angel was always looking out for me Sick. and like bringing me in and making sure when people talk shit to tell me like don't even worry about that mm. stuff. Like it's just gonna pan over, it's gonna go over your head. You're gonna look at those guys and go, where are you guys at now? He's always telling <laughs> yeah, me certain yeah, things, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. It was the, it was the exact same vibe when I left. Almost, you know, mm. it was like yeah. he just wanted to see me happy and make yeah. sure that where I was going, that like, you know, I, I was I was gonna be taken care of. Yeah. And, and Tori just deserved like you know anybody who's doing what they love, they just needed this. They just deserve to go wherever they need to be sure. to like, you know, become who exactly they want to become. You know, yeah. So. He was good. At, good. I mean, I was bummed out. I was like, damn. I'm yeah. <laughs> I was bummed out too. It's the hardest thing I've done in my life. Nah. Was, Behind closed was, doors, I was like, "Bro, like, fuck that Tori, you're fuck. no." But no. Did you see it coming when when uh, Tori was leaving for Plan B? Tori, I think he had told me too that he, you know, and you know, Plan B was blowing up. Yeah. And it was like a good place for Tori to be. There was a lot of eyes on that brand, Tori. You know, so it was, it was, good. It was a revival of. Yeah, and yeah. it was probably an honor too to have like guys like Danny Way and them saying like, "Hey, get in here, like, get in with us." And Tori probably, you know, he got that same hype of just that moment, that next little change, mm -hmm. like we talked about. Yep. And so, you know, was Rodney like a great advice giver? Would you like turn to him yeah. for like different things? He was. People, I feel like a lot of people on the team, they everybody knew Rodney different mm. in different ways. Interesting. You know I mean, everybody, sure. everybody had different relationships with him. For me, he's the one who found me. Mm. So, I feel like for for who I was to him, he was. I was like this this kid he found and he didn't want to like let me down as well like right. bringing me in and he's like i hope this kid kind of can make it because mm. you know what i mean it's like taking me out of like my nest and it's like well i don't know what your mom would have done but i'm gonna take you and put you into this thing and let you just do what you want to do go fly yeah yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. right and uh you know like i said at the beginning people were hating on me like really uh, well just you know you gotta think about like some of these heavy hitter pros that are like <sighs> all on that world camp back then and they just see this kid and i was i was very confused remember well i, I think it was I had, also threatening too yeah, yeah it was threatening. You know, remember i had no z rollers yeah. <laughs> like, what is this guy well they do? were picking <laughs> out they had, to, they had to pick out something to make fun of you know, right yeah here comes this kid i mean you were so good i mean you love Charles i wasn't being, even that i wasn't even like i just was bro. confused i was like i i Don't. would skate flack i would do all these weird little things and he would be like I, I was missed i was like little extra guy oh i gotta throw in a little extra shove it you know what i mean and yeah. i think back then skating was skating was just so like you know there's there's you know all the different types of skating now like you kick flip big kick flip smash down the hill how nice that looks sure and then you see somebody do a kick flip crooks nollie flip you're like that's tech and it looks nice too mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. back then it was like that big kick flip and thing and i came in and i was doing my little shove it shove it shove it revert and they're like the hell is this yeah but dude you're also in your head we're all in our heads yeah. in those moments because true, everything's true. just happening real time yeah but, but dude that, i remember tripping off of you at a few of these contests like um the bay a your trick selection you had a bunch of different tricks but i thought that was sick you know for, that's just me you know what i mean so yeah. anybody's yeah. perception is fucking but whatever like crazy that's when, when some Jerron, real homie when, shit yeah, right there when right. jerron showed up on the scene uh it was pretty crazy because <laughs> He had filmed some stuff, but he was skating for a reel back in the days. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. And then he had got persuaded. He ended up getting on blind, but he was doing big flip front nose at this McKinley spot. He was doing, he did. Big uh, flip front nose? Yeah. What? Dude, you got to get this sock tape. Dude, sock. Big yeah. flip front I'm, I'm, nose. I'm going to stress it again. Yeah, it is. We're like, what? <laughs> Dude, yeah. damn. That's amazing. Yeah, he was doing all this stuff, those imperial little baby hubbas. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, like, drawn did uh God, I don't know. You did a bunch. We of had stuff. fun on those little yeah. things, but dude, but we were all pushing each yeah. other at that time. Jerron was ahead of his time too, so it was fun to see that. And so Jerron saying that about me, that gets me, you know, yeah, that gets my ego up. But <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Because I was looking at him like, oh, this new generation is going to take over, and it's like you always, like nowadays, you know, I'm 
I'm so much older now. I don't think like that anymore. Yeah. I see progression, and it's insane. And totally. I don't think like, oh, my God. All I think is like, wow, skateboarding is progressing. And I love it. And I love mm -hmm. watching it. And it's insane. It's, it's come crazy. such yeah. a long way, bro. Yeah, it's come such a long way. But you trip out back then, too. Oh, you're talking about those little hubbas. Rick Howard, Fakey, front foot, back five. Yeah. Oh. You're like, yeah. I've never seen anyone do that to this day. Totally. Right. How incredible yeah. skateboarding was back then, yeah. too. Yeah. But it was moving so fast. Yeah, yeah. really. Yeah. yeah, it's moving so Daily. fast. But it's funny because the only thing that embeds in my mind at Imperial is because our buddy Matt Schneider would always skate there naked. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and we were like, yo, Imperial Boulevard was so much traffic. Yeah. And this dude would skate on that naked, Boulevard dude. naked. And I was like, but that dude was so amazing. He's great. What a what a good character, like a good person we had around us. Oh to my just god! Show us how much fun skateboarding can be and how serious it doesn't have to be. I was Straight surprised up. he never ended up on like a world company. I thought he was for sure gonna. He was with pla planet I mean, Planet Earth. Earth. Yeah. yeah, Planet Earth. Two Still parts in one fucking yeah. video. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, Matt yeah. Schneider. Did you know Matt? Uh, no. Oh, he's well, now guy. he's like hangs out with Mike Mo all the time. Yeah, yeah. 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 Amazing. I, I didn't. I didn't. I mean, I know. I, I, you know of him now. I, I know of him oh, now, but yeah. I didn't know There's that some other back stories, in the day. But I'm not gonna like, put him on blast. <laughs> hey, switchback <laughs> heel, nose grind reaver. Yep. Yep. down the little, down the little I didn't. Thing. I didn't. Yep. I didn't know that. Like, and Matchner always had this he, like doing it thing. Like, like before you do a trick, you'd always do like this thing with his hands. Like, oh, oh, oh I'm gonna do it. Boom. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. It's so cool. <laughs> I did forgot about that. Holy Remember that he did this thing with his hands. It was cool. I love that. I love that. But since we're on the thank you stuff, what was it? What was the? Because you guys just just released. Is Jerron Wilson uh, duck board? You know, Jerron he loves ducks. Yeah, I do. Real He's shit. Big, Real big shit. Duck <laughs> fan, you know, yeah, know. yeah. I mean, um, yeah. I mean, Jerron Wilson guest model for thank you. It. You know, paying paying homage to Jerron. And that's you know, what I was let's turn so the tables. I'm telling you about what Jerron's done and how yeah. long he's been in this industry. He's an OG. Yeah. Hell yeah. Some of the newer kids, they might not know their history, but. I mean, I was there watching Jerron as mm -hmm. a kid. I appreciate you guys. Yeah, you know I, mean? I mean, yeah, don't take it from us. Let Take it from Jerron. You know, know, talk know, about it, real. dude. Let's hear about it. Yeah. What, what What's going on with this? <laughs> well, <laughs> well, you're putting me on the spot. Um, again, thank you guys for even, like, you know, coming up with this guest model. Um, I saw Tori, though. It randomly like, happened. I, I backed it 100%. I was, like, so hyped. <laughs> so rad, man. Yeah. Um, randomly, this guy, uh, I forget his name in the moment. That's so lame. Um, I think it's AJ White. Maybe not. Anyways, yeah, 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 is it? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Um, <laughs> so he did this graphic, and I was just like mind blown. A, it's a legendary Tony Hawk graphic that yeah. you know, it, it, if you've seen that Tony Hawk graphic, you know exactly where it's come sure. from. So, um, long story short, Tori commented on like, let's make this board on 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 his post, and I was just like, wow, okay. Let's why do it. why why did you get the inspiration for that though? Uh, I don't remember any of this. <laughs> <laughs> that's why you told him to talk about it. That, that, that's amazing. Like, I don't know how this came about, but you tell yeah, me. He, comment, he commented on, 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 the, on the post, and I was just like, all right, let's do it. And then it pretty much started happening. And he reached out to the dude and got, got the graphic and went, so went from but there. The reason why it's a duck is because on the Experience Show, we're talking about ducks, and you were like, I love ducks, real shit. Oh, yeah. where that came from, yeah. yes. That definitely came from the Experience, and, you know, I randomly came up that, you know, I... I wanted to have a duck pond in my backyard, like kind of like you know you envisioning these, yeah, you know yeah. these scenarios, and you know I, that's always been my, one of my dreams to have a little duck pond. Isn't that you know? crazy? Like those little dreams. Yeah. But wait a minute. Can we just say something too? On your Instagram story recently, there was a duck in your yard. Yes, and that happened on the day that we actually released the board, dude. Randomly, a duck, two ducks, actually three ducks. Just, <laughs> uh, well, duck, randomly duck, la duck, landed duck. in <laughs> landed in my yard. Uh huh. Um. And then who else? Who called me that day and said, "Yeah, dude, I had random." Oh, um, uh, we went Aaron Mesa. Ah, so up. Aaron Mesa was like, "Yeah, they were flying over my house, and his his house is in Burbank." So I'm like, "I guess there was a bunch of ducks right. flying out that day, <laughs> duck day, because they've never been in your yard before." Never. Ever. I've been living there for damn near 20 years. Never had I had ducks land in the yard. <laughs> so the timing was epic. I couldn't believe it. That is wild. It was yeah. Daylon yeah. drove by and threw him out of his car. <laughs> that's it. that's exactly what I said when I was filming. I was like, dude, who dropped these, these ducks <laughs> off? You thought they were fake. Just fake like, ducks in the yard. Yeah. 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 I'm like, this can't be real because again. Hey, fake ducks, we use like a fishing line to pull them away. You're like, no way. It's fucking crazy. But they didn't even use their wings. They just like, this guy, what up? Bro? These, yeah. two yeah. <laughs> these two happen to stay. They stayed. So, um, but I, very I, cool, I, man. Another uh, just like random coincidence too is like me and Jerome both didn't even notice that in that like the original artwork like it said thank you on the board and nine club on the board yes. Wait, it, had, the, it, had, it had a nine and then thank you neither wow, of us what? even noticed that on the original artwork yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so 
it was kind of meant to be and then that's crazy and then that's, that's, that's kind of how it came about too that like oh we're gonna do we're gonna do an exclusive here's a close-up real quick yeah th- there uh, we go because a nine so and that's the original you. that's where things yeah. started right wow. which um yeah i mean oh, wow. yeah you can even see that it, it dates so back it just to happened to have too. it just happened to be that dude that's what's like so that that crazy story's insane that's amazing <laughs> yeah so random i love how thing. something can just talked about and then randomly just this, this this all of this just happened because of totally. you just talking about something yeah and it wasn't like something we just manifest it just yeah. like it just happened yeah. and you someone I mean? took that and created something yeah and then you guys see it and, go, and then and it all just connected and yeah yep. You know, and it, even to, to, you know, really, really splash it out in your face. We were like, we got to do a nine club exclusive colorway oh, yeah. for it. So Which is the gold one. That's right? what we have. We got the nine club exclusive Jerome's gold. has got it right there. You know, it's got yeah. the nine on the board. Yeah. When yeah. I met, when I, when I, we first went out skating with Jerron too, everything was switch. Switch three, flip down to three, switch back 180 off the curve. Everything was just, and we were oh. just, and we were, that's what made us think like, okay, he's ahead of us. I think he's ahead of us because everything's just switched. So he's moved on to the next stance so mm. it's cool it's cool watching all that it was a what did you time, say? switch actually switch uh detoured a lot of people i think yeah isn't that why you oh know, yeah tim when did gavin, tim gavin, gavin quit, quit skating, quit skating. big yeah. part of it i'm sure a lot sure. of other people too when yeah. did you guys meet each other day one and uh drawn <sighs> i think well mine first for some reason i'd like to say the ymca uh contest do you yeah, remember maybe. that i think so but we had when was it when we went to that uh when the we were all in night Santa skate, Barbara? The all night skate jam. Yeah. So and that we was a uh, and we were doing the, the all night skate jam. Yeah. Wait, and you it was day one there when you went there. back to the Yeah, and I had my got in the bed with the little fucking <laughs> yeah. 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 The story is amazing. Yeah. Anybody that hasn't heard the story. And Jerome was in there and he was like, Schnurf. He was doing the remember? It was oh like yeah, schnurf, the lion o yeah. yeah that was, was uh he was making like some some thundercat noise and <laughs> Like, snarf, snarf. Well, snarf. because yeah. you were at the you were at the skate <laughs> for people who haven't don't know the story. You were at the skate jam, Powell Skate Zone. Yep. And you went there with your buddies, and then all these guys, the world guys, were like, "Yo, come back to our yeah, come place. back to San Barrow. It's like Barrow's. you know, a little vacation house over here in Santa Barbara." And I was like, "I mean, I came with my boys, but let let me go ask him. Let me go talk. You know, make this mellow." And right. I, I went to go talk to Weston and my boy Julian and a couple other guys, and I was just like, "Hey, dude, like." I have a cool opportunity to go like kick yeah. it with these guys and you know I, I'm sorry but like this is gonna like, I gotta do this right right so right. I abandoned ship and then I went and, <laughs> <laughs> and then I went and uh, you know went with these guys and man that was probably the, the best decision of my life 100% 100%, 100%. and that's funny you were there yeah you yeah. were there I was there huh crazy fun fun time but that wow. was uh, and that's before I even got to see him skate so it was crazy oh. but I was just like this kid is probably I know he rips I can just tell by the way he Snarfs. <laughs> <laughs> snarf. I totally forgot about that. Holy shit, man. It was like all night, like, snarf, snarf. And I was like, it's, that is just in my mind. <laughs> that is fun. Wow. Yeah. Those are moments, man. That's crazy. Well, that's what's cool about this, this whole collab is that you three specifically have gone, uh, known each other for a long time. No, yeah, we, totally. we all have so, so much history together. Yeah, we dude, all my, wrote right, for the same crazy. team forever. My, my dad used to drop me off at Jerron's house before we go on uh, DBS trips. Okay. Yeah. Oh, me and Jerron wow. would go to the airport same. together. <laughs> so <laughs> amazing, so crazy, you know, yeah. And it's cool. It's like, a, you know, it's all family. I mm. swear. We've had a lot of great moments, yeah. man. It's been and very And time cool. does fly, you know, as people say, but like, I mean, it's still. So there's, ducks. there's so much time between that. Though. Yeah, ducks do fly too. <laughs> <laughs> you know? A little bit. Except the ones we pulled with the straw. <laughs> I know. Get them out of there. They bamboozled so, me. How many of these boards do you guys make? Is it like a limited amount, or how do you? How can we get these? How can so, people buy these boards? So the 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 Geron, the blue, the original colorway of the, the one right in the center the, there. Yeah. Um, those are those are those are in shops now. Okay. Yeah, we got we got the shaped model revised uh, OG Tony Hawk shape. It's got a a, a whole oh. skatable nose. We revised the whole shape, um, nine inch. Uh, that is available as well. At, that one turned at, out at so exclusive sick. shops. But the nine club exclusive colorway mm. is um, the the gold, gold foil, which is gold limited one hundred available. Oh. Um, uh. It's available now on the site. Okay. Thank you, Skateco.com. Man, I gotta get yeah. so, I gotta get one. Signing those. those? Yeah. You signing those, Jerron? I'm gonna sign. I'm gonna sign all of them. All oh, of them. Oh shit! I'm sign all one hundred. Oh shit! All of them. Well, hold those uh, orders. Hold those orders. So, so, gonna, yeah. so it's limited. It's it's a hundred. Um, I'm hand producing all of them myself yep, yep. Yeah, that's what i do 
Um, and then those other colorways you see up there are all unreleased. Those aren't coming out. Those are just one-offs. Wow. Oh, one -offs. So we'll, we'll dis decide now what how, okay. how those are going to Oh, right get now? Divvy, gonna, divvy oh, up. I'll yeah. take one. Think, I'm sure. I'll have one. I'll have one. I'll take one. Yeah. 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 So, <laughs> around for everybody. They're all spoken I think, for. I think Jerron's going to decide. Uh, you know, <laughs> yeah. Whoever, we'll him decide, whoever yeah. purchases uh, the, the Gold Nine Club exclusive Ooh, will get just get a little special special bonus one of one. Oh, that's there actually pretty go. cool. Mm. Yeah. With their order like on that. the house. I like I love that. It. I love so it. So that's what that is right there, you know, and you definitely, it's all about paying homage to Jerron. It's all about yeah, Jerron for this I mean, one. I Thank you it. guys. Like man, I said, Jerron's really... given skateboarding a lot. There's mm -hmm. a lot of people in this room. Yeah, you know yeah, I mean? yeah Everybody 100%. in this room is given so much to skateboarding, even though, you know, if you date it back, you want to look at some history, you know, anybody out there, you look at everybody's history in this room. Everybody's been in this for so long. Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. No, for sure, for yeah. sure. I mean, you guys, I, I was looking at both of you guys yeah. when I was growing I was like, damn, Jerron Wells, because th th that was my world. My world was world plan B. Like, I, I wasn't following anything outside. I wasn't, I would see East Coast videos. I would see all yeah. this other stuff, but I would, because I was around this area too, so well, yeah, I would see everybody, up, yeah. right? And so seeing day one and then actually being able to like skate with them, yeah. you oh, know, wow, becoming yeah. friends with Daniel Castillo and... He was my first sponsor. Yeah. He would give me That's so sick. girl stuff and then uh, and then skate with you, going to King's Hawaiian afterwards. For I skated with yeah. Kelly at that one day, randomly at that weird school, remember? Oh, it was like a table school? Yeah, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. We, and there was one of the tables without seats. Yeah, and I yeah. I got to skate with mm -hmm. you. I was like, yeah, yeah. this dude got... Was this, was I, was this? Like, I, I was I was tripping that day. I remember it was like I think Barrow was there too. Yeah, it was just random. I too. was so random, but yeah. I was like super. I was one of the first times I actually like because I was trying to go out and skate and meet like not meet people, just go out and do yeah, the yeah, thing yeah, like we course. always do. And I remember just coming across and seeing you guys, and I was super cool. But I knew who he day. was already too. Yeah, yeah, I've yeah. seen all his parts and stuff, so oh, it was cool. Thanks, Here's man. a little dubs. Oh, uh, dubs footage. Finally, an FTC video. This was crazy because uh, all this footage that we've been filming just in LA, it just got. <laughs> Tossed over to fucking and that to, line to Aaron. The, that line on the bricks, we mm -hmm. used to call it Mini EMB. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. Wait, where was that? That's just in Redondo. Redondo. It's right, above, it's Redondo, it's right by Redondo right, Pier. Oh, yeah, 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 it's yeah, right yeah. above the pier. And now, okay. if, you, if you stand up there, you can see the new skate park they put oh, on the pier. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Got you. Yeah. Got you. That's right by the spot where you had a birthday party, right? Yep. Okay. Not too far. Oh, what? I didn't yeah. get invited. Did you? Uh oh. You didn't. Don't make him play no. Wait, do you play poker? Yeah, hell yeah. Oh, dude, you're, you're there next You're there next time. Day one, not that you, day one you didn't have invited, to play. <laughs> I know I'm playing. I, I think he invited me. See, <laughs> was the table um, where you saw Kelly? Was that in the, your table days when you were putting yeah. the tables downstairs? Yeah, it's when, and, I was like, it's when tables felt small to me. Now, damn, my tables kind of feel big. I well, mean, you were, dude. You took the thing that I love about your skating two day one is like you. I mean, you took the table thing and ran with it. I mean, you're putting uh, eighty tables down the down some shit and those one sliding. To you know what I mean? Like you're you're always like, like forty, but dude, no one like, else has done that. But he, no one else he's has done always, that. You're always. You're always like innovating. I think I was just and, like, desperate. Oh, and plus, dude. when you put the tables down the stairs, it made it lower. So I was like, hey, <laughs> yeah, yeah, you're still skating. <laughs> you're you're still skating. Tables cheating. through roof gaps, right? I was cheating. No, no, no. They once got some tables through roof gaps. Oh, oh yeah. Are you yeah. sitting on right now? The Kenter, yeah, Kenter School. We always go oh, up there. Oh, am I sitting on any table footage? No. No. <laughs> God, man, I got to Wait, what? Well, you've been there, done that. You did like, come on. You I, created, I, you put tables on top of tables to make like bank yeah. to tables. Yeah, exactly. But, but, on roofs. I was desperate. What did you do? <laughs> what did you do after you were done with those? Did you just leave the tables there? Like that? That's the question too, and I always feel like uh, since I'm on camera too, I'm always like, I want to say I'll put them back, but I did try to put as many back as I could. But at the end of like me A skating, session. Yeah. I was so done. Yeah, yeah. I was like, I'm gonna move these tables. So we, always, like, we always joke like that somebody would come in and be like, who the yeah, hell? Yeah. <laughs> the janitor yeah, comes janitor. in. Who the hell? Oh, oh my aliens! As, as, as me with kids, oh. and I think about just. <laughs> A janitor in general, my kids eating on like a waxed up bench and stuff. I'm like, damn. Wait, like, we got to play some of this stuff. I, really I mean, look down. at this. Wait, wait, wait. Hold on, hold on. Inward heel. Inward heel blind. Look at this. You were, I mean, you were going goodness, crazy bro. with the tables, man. Oh, this is Rodney versus Day One too, right? Oh yeah, part two. Yeah. yeah. Hey, who who won? You nice. think? Who do you think won? I think Rodney won, of course. <laughs> He's OG. You have to always give it to the people. Look at this who, right here. Well, I mean, that's you got to give it to but... like the person who brought you in to, like you know, come on. No, yeah. I mean, you, you guys both. I remember going. This is one of the first premieres I ever this went to. This is right here. This yeah. is up the street. Look it is. It is. Yeah, it is. It ain't up the street. No, but it's, but it's close. Inward heel blunt. Yeah, a little five star line. And now look at you. You're taking wheels off in a line oh, and putting God. them back on. You know, Just out here embarrassing myself. <laughs> yeah, yeah, right yeah, there. Stuff like that. I'm that like, what setup is, that, is incredible. Yeah. <laughs> Imagine getting that. I think I tied them all with like a, 
<laughs> what do you call it? Schools don't even have picnic well, tables so the that to really offer. Had it bad. You're the reason why yeah. they're all bolted down That's to the school. Damn you know, <laughs> how, hard, that. You know how hard it was. I think I am the how reason. How did you get the table on the roof? We used ropes. Oh, you, oh, you oh, hold it up. up? I was benching like 250 back then. <laughs> <laughs> hell no, hell no, That's like three tables. Yeah. Imagine just, yeah. Yeah, how did you get the tables up on the roof, <laughs> we used dude? Ropes. We used to, ropes. Oh, to pull it up. Oh, yeah. oh some okay. Of those, Harness that. Some yeah. of those pictures, if you got to see it with me and Sock and everybody, just trying to get dude. it. Dude. Like, probably hilarious. And I bet you the neighbors are looking at us like, look at these idiots. <laughs> yeah. Oh my God. What are they doing? They're high. That's so funny, though, because like, it's not like you're breaking in to steal them. You're yeah. just breaking in to... Move Make, around. Yeah. They're, they're yeah. Making, he's making art. Yeah. Straight imagine, up. imagine the janitor. It's like one, two, three. I know How many there, tables I know is that? Tables, but I don't see any more tables. And that, like, that's no, kind of, yeah. on the roof. <laughs> yeah. They're on the roof. That's like a practical joke. Too they're probably funny, thinking. Are these kids just playing jokes on us? Oh, yeah. yeah. And this is like I dedicate it to my mom after she had. Uh, oh, okay. Yeah. Oh, there you Kid go. Knows one. It's crazy. She passed. She passed when she was forty-six. She wow. was so young. Oh man. So, wow. But so that part meant a lot to me. Sure. I guess. Um, or I just. I don't know. It meant a lot to me. Just trying to be able to skate. I remember going filming that kickflip nose blunt in there from the gaps mm -hmm. the day of, after my mom's funeral. Mm -hmm. Really? I mean, no, the same day as my the mom's. Same funeral. day. No way. Oh, wow. Damn, wow. dude. Because I just felt like you know what I mean. Like it was just like, uh, and then I just went there and was like. Damn. Got a trick, you know what I mean? I don't even think I told anybody, though, that day. I that's told him later. I told huh. Sock later, maybe. But uh, it's crazy. Yeah. yeah, that's insane. Yeah. So you I, guys, you've I been didn't even try to bring the mood. No, no, no. no, 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 no. That's a, a beautiful thing. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you, uh, you've been uh, with a good video, you know, Cheese and Crackers and Rodney vs. Day One. And, you know, you... How was, like... Uh, you've been I, doing I, some cool stuff. But Rodney right? vs. Day One. What was the initial, like, the first one to come out? What, who, they were like, all right, we're going to make this video Rodney vs. Day One. Was that, like, and then everyone else had parts in the I middle, think, but, like. I think it was actually kind of, um, like, Rock and Rodney just saying to themselves, because me and Rodney had filmed, we would film so much. We yeah. had so much footage. Just yeah. hype it up. And yeah. then nobody else was, like, kind of quite ready. And we're like, and then, you know, because Rodney being kind of a mentor for me and kind of bring me in, mm -hmm. they just, Rodney had pitched the idea and I was always thinking to myself, like, I don't know about that. Yeah. I was like, kind of shook. Like, yeah. oh, whoa, Rodney versus day one. <laughs> but I ended up, you know, we ended up just doing it and ended up panning out pretty good for us. Yeah. yeah. And this was after everybody bounced. Yeah. Uh, oh, yeah, that's right. But it's also, I think, to kind of generate like a hype type of thing. It's like, yeah. not that it's a real like versus day one and yeah. right, you know what I mean? It's just like it was kind more of. more like just trying to create some sort of, like, like Drone says, like a hype. Yeah. Because. Yeah. Most people that knew me and Rodney, they knew we were, I mean, we're as close as you can get, you know, n n whoa, not as close <laughs> as you can get. We're close friends. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah. close as you can get. <laughs> no, we're close friends. I mean, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. And yeah. so I think being so close, you know, it made it possible for us to do that and not really care. Yeah. Right. But then it's funny because as we started filming, Rodney would like get clips of you know little clips of my footage sock with chum and I would see Rodney's and you know we'd oh, start so we'd so we of... almost start kind of like trying to outdo or yeah. you know we'd have similarities but Rod, come on it's Rodney Mullen for yeah. sure. <laughs> me to have the opportunity to even just have my name next to his is a verse that was just like that was an honor in itself sure. so no, you guys are both sparking each other. Like, then round oh, two damn. came along, got a little more serious. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> oh, round two. Oh, okay. Then what? round three. Round three. Yeah. 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 And then we're like, I don't know, like this. I'm gonna have to do this final round. <laughs> yeah. Pretty soon. <laughs> we need to do the final round. But just like those, uh, just like movies, man. When you start going, it's like. Yeah. It's played out. Yeah. I mean, ah, but people like right? Fast and the Furious is going to do. You like true, that? True. True. They but still rock it though. People yeah. love it. But people do love it. People love it. Yeah. Well, if it's, it was, if it's done right, it was good. it was kind of hard to compare you guys. That was the funny thing because yeah. he he did you guys did different tricks yeah. and different styles. Like you're skating tables and crazy stuff. He still skates some tables, but he's getting super tech and like doing a lot. Especially in the first one, it is the first one. Mm. He's doing a, a lot of like um. That's flat why we're so type. good, dude. Oh, I love the Xerox bench. It was so yeah. good. Where was that? That was at uh, uh, Near World. Yeah. Damn, I banked. You didn't care if you banked back then. You're like, oh, let's just bounce. Yeah. <laughs> we, got it. We, got <laughs> we got it. We got We're it. Good, dude. Like I always love that. Clip. Oh, look at this part. Mm. That flip. wasn't actually a make, but what do you mean it wasn't? Because I fell against the fence. Oh, but it's all I good. see what you're saying. I always got hyped. You rode for days because of whoever yeah, screamed in the background was like super hyped. You guys know damn well who the winner was, <laughs> <laughs> but it wasn't about that. 
You know what I'm saying? <laughs> That's the way I get in my back. But. <laughs> right, right, right. And when he says that, he knows he's talking about Rodney. <laughs> yeah. I, I initially, he didn't even well, say. Well, he's skating handrails. Yeah. Dude, oh, I mean, you know. Rodney, Rodney, hey, show back Rodney skated the rails in here. Bro, he did. That, yeah. is, that clip impressive. of Mike Mo breaking his... Mm. Shit yeah. Time, Marcus, that Ooh. messes me up. Mm. I love watching things like that. Do you? Yeah. I cannot watch that. Man. Kids love it too, man. I mean, dude, that's what puts you on the map. They remember that the most. That's true. You that's know, so I remember crazy. going to so on so many trips, and then kids coming up to Mike Mo, like talking about that clip where he broke his wrist. Oh yeah. Oh, and I was like, yeah. damn. Well, that's like that. That one really like put me. him on the get, map. I don't get you know? no word on my heart flip, but I get, <laughs> I get a lot about the wheel coming, in, the switching the wheel thing. Oh yeah. Yeah. What are you doing? That's like, are you gnarly. just? Are you? What are you? Are you? I mean, you're getting creative, right? It's I'm Instagram having, stuff. I'm just having fun. Yeah, I'm having fun. I mean, but it, but it's it's really people who love that stuff, uh, dude. Yes. Love it. And the thing is, is like there's a mixture between like the people who really just they're skateboarding, they're trying to progress, and there's there's you got a lot of people watching you too that really don't skate. Sure. And they're just following you because they're just interested. They're curious. Yeah. You know. Yeah, yeah. And you 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 got to definitely say thanks to them too as well because I mean, they're 100%. still you know, and they're still like they support you. They carry your name somewhere. They're like. <laughs> I don't skate, but if I do, if I, I was, I was, I back day one or Damn. something. Yeah, 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 yeah. And you're like, that's sure. cool. You got like some, you got like a little uh, group of people that support you, even though they don't skate. And just totally. like any of us, how a lot of us support sports and yeah. we're for one team and stuff like that. People get like that too with skaters. It's for crazy, sure. you oh, know, yeah, and, yeah. and you got to like, uh, you got to feel privileged and just kind of honored that that even happens. And Definitely. just anybody who comes up to me. When I'm somewhere like with my kids, or I'm at Disneyland, or I'm just at a park, and they come up to me and say, "Hey, day one," like, and they say thanks, they say thanks for like everything you do. Yeah, it like makes me feel so. I'm like, wow, you know what I mean? For yeah, sure, yeah. Honor. No, for you, sure. Embrace, you, you embrace it really you know well, what I mean? bro. They don't, they don't need to say that stuff. And they're, I'm no different from anyone else. Just like any of us is, you know, we, we just, you know, we do what we do. And if somebody right. can acknowledge that and respect what you do. It's definitely like a special moment, you know what for I mean? Sure, yeah. People who think that they're just better than everybody else, that's just sad. Yeah, yeah. yeah. No, exactly. sure. Dude, I was going through immigration coming home from Japan at LAX the other day, uh -huh. and, and the cop was like, hey man, welcome back, dude. Like, been a fan for a while. No way. Wow. And he was oh, like, he was like, And he was like, hey dude, Tell day one when I said what's up. Yeah, right. Ch Channel streets are local, oh, and I was shit. like, and I was like, oh dude, hell yeah, that's tight. He's, he's like, get yeah. you out of trouble too. Yeah, yeah sometimes yeah. right. I've been, I've been a lot to a lot of spots that's where pretty it's cool, man. Like, like you know, gang infested, and like people roll up and be like, oh shit, like we're about to jack all these oh, fucking yeah. you and yeah. all these boys. But like, what's up, day one? Yeah, like, wow, that's that's sick. I'm like hell yeah, thank that God. Day one been in man. the game, you know? Yeah, paid his dues. That's rad. I mean, yeah, you've been day one. Listen, let's let's we're OG, double, triple OGs, bro. Ooh, Come on now, that. quadruple. I don't no. want to put no age on it. <laughs> <laughs> no. Gotta gotta and give it flowers. Said, no days off either. You're you're filming no, shit in the no. no listen, I you're filming stuff in the rain and stuff. Oh. Like, come on, man. You got an umbrella and everything. You got the umbrella. You got the umbrella. You're doing little your, rubber ducky. I love it. Oh god, I love it. I these love are all it. desperate. <laughs> I love it. The best one was wait, desperate wait. moments of trying to get it something. It's of all or, it's all organic. <laughs> it's all organic. It's my umbrella. What was the one where it landed in the coffee cup? It was was oh that was an old one. That was like when that was when like it was just. It was like when Instagram first started. I just I was like using perspective with like mm. a coffee cup. Yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. But and I think what was awesome about Instagram is it, it opened skateboarding a little more to be creative and like us to put our own content yeah, yeah. and not have to do a specific way. Or like, cool, I have to film this to put it over there in that video. It's yeah. like, mm -hmm. Well, for so long, I was like anti, no Facebook. I didn't want none of that stuff. I was like, why do people even use this? Like, I don't want none of that. No yeah. social media type things. You know what I mean? I was that dude. Like, yeah. yeah. You know, like saying like, no, I'm not going to use that. I'm not going to use that. And I'm not going to use that. You guys go ahead and tweet something you know, go ahead, <laughs> put something on facebook let them know what you had for dinner <laughs> right. yeah yeah i was so against that but through time i had noticed like that you know my friend would show he would always be doing this thing and then he shot a photo of somebody's like yeah hey, i'm gonna get you on the popular page oh. i'm like what does that even mean yeah. what does that mean yeah. and that was at the beginning of yeah Instagram. it was definitely and then uh i think it was daniel or everybody was getting on the daniel, popular oh, page. Yeah. He shot a photo of john dj runaway and was like and then it was like a 5 0 down the scene. He's like, Look, you're on the popular page. John was like, Well, I was like, What is that? What are you doing? Yeah. He's like, It's just Instagram. And then Cooper Will even showed me the same thing. And I'm like, What is this? He goes, You don't have to say nothing. Just shoot a photo and post it. Right. I was like, All right. I mean, that sounds like my style. Like, better. Yeah. I just don't want to say nothing. Just <laughs> post something. Yeah, I could deal with hope. this. 
So I remember starting to post weird stuff. Like I, I found a magazine and I was like, damn, this lady, she's walking across the street with an umbrella. She looks like she was doing a three flip. So I was like, what? So I took a, a cut out of a skateboard. I put it under her and she looked like she was doing a three flip. <laughs> and I posted it. And I was just like, I mean, there it's posted. Yeah, I had no page. followers. Yeah. Right. I had no followers. But through time, you got like one. I was like, who? Where does this come from? Who, how, did, how did they know I posted this? And through time, and then Mike Mo had posted me like, Daywan has an Instagram. And then I seen my Oh, Instagram. there you go. Yeah. I seen my Instagram go up. Spired. And I was like, what is this? And then all of a sudden, I started communicating. And people were like, yo, I used to have your deck aboard. And I was like, what? That's so sick. Like, communicating with getting to talk to people from around the world that never get a chance to just tell totally. me, I rode your board. Yeah. Or I had right. this. Or I met you. 14 years ago over here and, then, <laughs> and it means so much to them meant, bro. and then when i was responding to him i was like wow this is crazy this is you know and i started you know i gradually started getting more into it mm -hmm. and i was like this is a, a good place for me to just kind of be yourself and not really worry about getting like a switch hill switch nose grind <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. i just cut out a piece of magazine and be like there you go <laughs> i'm on the popular page now. yeah, yeah. yeah. So, no you do a good job you do a really good job bad. i think a lot of people of it's it's hard for me to post stuff yeah, and, you know, there was a window where I was just doing kind of silly things. And, you know, yeah. people, like, I feel like my peers are kind of like, what's up with day one? Like, no switch heel nose grinds, but, like, this weird, like, he's rolling around in an office chair. And I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just having fun. Yeah. Like, I'm yeah. just like, I'm at a skate park. I found this junk. And I'm like, watch this. You know, yeah. it's like stuff we do all the time as kids or we do just around or friends. Yeah. Totally. Before, we were is, before we were documented. Yeah. And then now it's like, well, I'm just, you know, it's an outlet to kind of show that side of you. And like, this is just me. Like, I'm just having fun and doing where for a while we were just so judged on anything we did on Straight the skateboard. Up. It was so cutthroat back yeah. then. Yeah. Mm -hmm. 100%. It's like, I remember when like double flips are like, I don't know if you want a double flip. I remember having a whole video part and I couldn't use it because that era of like that style of skating past, mm -hmm. no slide crooks, crooks, mm -hmm. no slide. Oh. All that footage I had, we all had like a bunch of like uh, no slide nose grind stuff. And I had to like get rid of all that footage. Wow. We ended up using it in like uh, yeah, we ended up using it in like these collaboration videos with all the footage. But mm. through that timing, I couldn't use any of it because yeah. somehow the industry said it was kind of like eh. yeah, well, it's like yeah. pressure, when pressure pleasure, uh, pressure flips came in really quick and then they were out really quick. Yeah. Like if you had any pressure, you yeah later you can't use that yeah, yeah. and then even like the late flips back then like costume yeah. would do them and i remember us watching a part he had and we saw a late flip and we're like what like i don't know if you should <laughs> if you could use that <laughs> <laughs> but you know what i mean he had that one-on-one part drunk. yeah falling down yeah. yeah and we were like what well, he did a nolly he was at los Feliz. nolly 360 nolly. yeah yeah late and then flip. now he's oh. just like dude costume was just so good totally just, he just could do everything yeah so it was just you know true true he did this shit dumb fast but we definitely were judged quick and you got blacklisted from just anything fast if you just did one yeah, wrong true. thing. So it's true. And you know, skating's changed now a lot, and I think that it's it's just an open space for everybody to just get in there, be creative, and just be you. Straight up. Yeah. You know what I mean? And yeah. of course, you're gonna be judged. Yeah. We're all judged by everything, but you just kind of have to close those judging windows and just kind of try to just yeah. stick with whatever. I mean, whatever you're comfortable doing. Yep. Right? Hundred percent. Yeah. Hundred percent. There's a lot more lanes open these days. Yeah. That, you know, For sure. Find what given, lane you in. Yeah, and it's given a lot of other people opportunities that some of the industry won't let them have. So then they have, but they have other outlets to do that and to maintain it, even to survive and like have some sort of income coming in to take care of their families. So mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I mean? You just gotta let people be. Straight mm -hmm. up. We gotta watch this because this is uh. The All wheel, the, the wheel thing. Which is crazy, dude. I mean, have you ever tried? <laughs> just, just try to do a, a, a manual and bend down and touch your touch your yeah. uh, wheel. This Let one's, put this one's funny because on. nobody brings this one up. They always bring up this judo air one where I'm in the air. Uh -huh. And the thing is with this one is the wheel came off, but it wasn't the first time I saw this. I saw this guy. I forgot. I don't know where it came from, but he did a manual and he switched to both his wheels. Oh, both, both sides? Yeah. He was doing a manual forward, and then he switched both his wheels. I was like, what? And then it's funny, because I forgot about that, and I seen Bart Simpson switch his wheels in some Simpson episode. <laughs> wow. And I was like, oh, yeah. And I was like, I think I'm a, you know. And but he was manualing when he did it? Yeah. What? He was man I think he was doing like a weird one-footed manual or something. And he oh, doing, he just went that. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So, you know, that kind of stuff is just all fun. You know what I mean? Yeah, but that's a viral moment right that there. Is, oh, for sure, it is. I remember De La so uh, reposted this, and I was hyped. No way! Uh, <laughs> if this is the one where I use that Saturday use song. song, yeah, oh, man. wow. But 
You know, you get hyped on those moments. Just yeah, like Dela, for come sure. On. You can, but you wouldn't even think that to happen. Yeah. You know what I mean? And that's the that's the world we live in with Instagram is that you mm. never know what eyes are on it and yeah. totally. who's seeing it. You don't know who's watching. For me, as De La Soul, they did so much for me, my mental, oh, you know, with what they were saying. And that's really cool. Same. Man. It's just really, and them reposting, I'm like, really? I never thought in my life. Man. Yeah. Just yeah. like a kid, you know, when Hasoy and meeting him, then we became friends and De La saying, reposting it. You're like, what? So crazy. These things are really happening. And man. it's for you, you know, it's, it's, it's different for some people. Some people don't care. Some people really, it. It's just a cool. They don't, they don't really, you know. But for me, I, I do embrace like any small moment like that too. I'm very appreciative yeah, of, you know. Do. For sure. They like reposted. Come on, and I used to. I, I put so much money in all their. <laughs> spent so much money buying yeah. all their CDs, and going to CDs concerts. And totally. How long do you think it took you to do that? The little wheel swap. Yeah. Oh, that one was probably like, it's like, ten tries. Really. Yeah. The hard part is because my my front truck was so wobbly. <laughs> it, it was like it's was hard like, to actually get like, the wheel in. Get over here! You know what I mean? It's flopping around. <laughs> get over here! <laughs> like scorpion. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Get over here, dude. Nah. You guys, might, I mean, you guys must have fun. Is it is it interesting? I mean, you guys call each other up and be like, "Yo, did you see this kid? Maybe we should put this person on. Thank you." Or we like, do, do go you guys back have, and forth. Yeah, dude, all the time, man. I mean, that's the thing. I'll hit day one up all the time about people, and like, it's good to get him to like really co-sign to ensure, yeah, yeah, like, yeah. nah. But Tori sees nah, it firsthand nah, too. They're, He's, they're whack, yeah. and I'm like, oh yeah, yeah. Day one, day, day one speaks the truth. Like, no, uh, like, but I, who am I to judge either? You know, sure, what I mean? sure, sure. But I'm just saying. Like maybe there's, yeah, but and Tori's there firsthand watching these people. In David person. Reyes, Danny Hamaguchi, yeah. yeah, and that's those were all you know. Tori found those and Danny Hamaguchi and David Reyes. They're you know on top of just their skating, but their personality, who yeah. they are as a person, yeah. that makes a huge difference. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. you know what I mean? Big time. I'd rather have somebody on the team that could barely kickflip with like the best attitude. Let's go kick it, than some kid who can do everything is just a yeah, you know, yeah. for has sure, that man. Bad attitude, you little right. shithead. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, I'm and, there's, and there's a lot of those people, you know what I mean? There's a lot of people that are cocky and they don't think that they're acting like that, but you can just see it when yeah. they skate and you can just see how, you know, you can see that personality through them. Totally. Yeah. And, you know, and but I understand too when they're that good, they don't even know how to act sometimes, especially in this day and age with social media and stuff and they're getting so much hype around them yeah. that they feel as though they can act every, which, you know, however they want. And that's, you could, of course, act, be yourself. But I'm saying, but there's a point where you can kind of tame it down. You can, yeah. you can kind of just. Well, the people they get all this attention, so they act like, "Hey, man, I'm the shit. Yeah. I'm yeah. better than everyone." Well, and they're like, getting hey, that attention at a young age. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's another thing. But there was a lot of people that had those attitudes back then. They got blacklisted. Yeah, true. true. No, that true. doesn't happen anymore. Right. Mm-hmm. I think that there was a time where you couldn't really be happy for yourself after you land something mm-hmm. that was a no-no oh yeah put your hands yep. up oh yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> hands go up after you do something you almost cool. had to look bummed Every, everybody yeah. else puts their heads down like oh <laughs> you know what i mean that was yeah. happening for a while yeah, it's, still, it's still a no-no you know, know like you, but people you know there's it's out there of course you're, yeah, proud, of you're proud of them but it's highly sport, it's highly noticed every other sport when they do that everybody you know people love it yeah. and the thing is i think skating's changed too and if you're hyped you're hyped you know for sure so, right I mean, I guess it's kind of weird when you're like alone or something. Like that. <laughs> I, actually, it's probably better it's when you're better alone. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right. Ain't nobody seeing that yeah. shit. Yeah. Yeah. It's the yeah. things they don't see when you like clip. You're like, oh, I'm going to clip it right here before I did that. But. Well, it's different. You wouldn't it feel like you would do that more in a contest situation than you do in like a street situation. But, yeah, but I think right. contests but even now. Yeah. Like, oh, you yeah, contests, they just... I've seen people do it in the streets too, man. Yeah. 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 It's like, oh my God, hard. I can't believe I oh. landed that. Right. Yeah, yeah because like, if, if you're battling, if you've been battling hours, something for a while, it. yeah, I mean, and you're going to get stuck. And contests too, like, let them. Like, yeah, you know contests I, mean? I think I is fine. I see now too, but... and they're pumped. I'm like, hell yeah. Because I mean, I'd be scared as hell, so nervous to just be in front of that many people and to be able to like, ex- you know, Tori's in, front, in contests all you're the time. You're a lot cooler if you don't do that. <laughs> <right>? <laughs> yeah, I mean, we all know that. It's like, we all, it's like frowned upon. Yeah, of course. But now you're like, you gotta hold yourself back. You know what's the best one? Daniel Haney. Dude, I love that dude. Oh, he was gnarly. He was like, Punk love Daniel Haney on. though. He, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's what I, mean. like, I love Daniel Haney. And when he, he, Ollie the fourteen he just did like, this one rail. Like, right. I think there's two clips of Daniel Haney. I love it, dude. Where he was in the middle Daniel of the Haney rail. Can do it. Oh, he and screamed. He was, he was almost screamed. at the end, and he was like, that yeah. was a, he was cheering for himself before he landed. He I owned it, he, but he <laughs> owned it. He owned it. He was it. like this at the top of the rail, like, <laughs> and he would land. That and had to have been like, like an arcade video or something. It was something. an arcade video. Right. That was so sick. Wow. Dude, I remember in that, in that uh, the listen video, 
he had the gnarliest slams. We oh, hit his head on the pole. He, yeah, and he, he oh slams. He falls back and then hits his head in the pole. And you're like, it was so like the worst fall. Gnarly. I think it's knocked out. Yeah, basically. it's like, oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> could hear it. Oh, oh God. Dan Rail Haney, man. <laughs> Guy was a legend. That too was his tongue. Yeah, yeah. All the power, he was all the power of your hand rails. That he, he was doing the gnarliest shit. Yeah. Dude, the whole arcade, arcade team. There's was a lot of those of guys. Yeah. Casey like Rigney, oh, yeah. Ryan oh, yeah. London, Ryan London, a bunch of those guys. What about what do you think about uh, when Bastion would do it back in the day when he? I just saw see, that contest run see, just yesterday. Love it. When Bastion, yeah. love it, when Bastion did it back in the days too. As I remember, there was a time where you're like, oh damn, you know. But yeah, then you think about it too, and. It was just kind of, it was, that was his personality. He was feeling, yeah, yeah. He was hyped, and he yes. was hyped for himself to, like, have made it. And you have to look back. Like, I was, I, I feel like maybe back then I was sitting there and judging, going, damn, like, why do you, you know, he's so yeah. hyped. We like, all were. Same. T- yeah, but for the sure. thing is, is like, but now you look at it, it's like. It's, look at what he did. He was super hyped. Uh, yeah. You know, there's t- times, like we were saying, in the streets, you land something, and you just sort of, like, freeze up. You're like, oh, my God. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. It's so hyped yeah. right now, but I got to play it. Cool. Got to relax. Know, I don't know if they're panning back up to my face. <laughs> and then you're like, okay. But looking yeah, looking back like, on it, though, now, because I actually just saw it yesterday, it didn't seem that bad. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, mm. so nowadays, like, it, you'd be like, oh, well, But nobody was doing it and amplified it. I feel like, oh, my God. I feel like nowadays, like, you have to, like, you have to like earn that, you know. You have to be able to like. You have to earn being able to do that for yourself, right. you know. Yeah. Like and doing it in a very like like humble way, if that even, even makes sense. Dude, I remember this <laughs> yeah. one time, dude. I watched Nyjah in the in the Japan Chimera Games contest, just completely destroyed it and oh, won yeah. the contest. He he already knew he won the contest on some Bastion shit yeah. before he, he, the contest was even done. I remember he just flung his board out of the park. I'm a fucking beast, and I was watching it like. Damn right you are, beast, dude. Like, hundred percent, you deserve that celebration. Yeah. You know what I mean? Because you've done it over and over. You know yeah. it. We all know it. Is yeah. that when he did the cat back loved... nose blend on the gap yes. rails? I was first like, try, first... never even tried it. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's insane. So, wow. but, but yeah. people, I, I do enjoy know, it sometimes. Yeah. Watching people celebrate, like I guess that. there's an yeah. appropriate yeah. time. And that's the thing. We don't know what what that person's. I can't through, do that. What where I'll their mental's at either. We don't know what's happening at home. We don't know if that run for them just. They were able to like just release all this tension, and they're like, oh, yeah. oh yes, totally. I feel like Bastion was what, the first one that. Were, what it was year? Like, oh, I understand that. What year was that when Bastion first did the whole I thing in the contest? That's got to be like early two thousand. Early two thousand. Were they the, yeah. like the Munster, the the tail end of the Munster contest? Was it a Munster contest when you did that? I thought it was at Tampa. And you seen Bastion lately though? Well, maybe he's not. Ripping. He's killing. Yeah, it. Dude. Bastion's still nonstop. Still ripping. Dude. Still killing it. That's funny, man, because every time I land a trick. I am exhausted and just thankful that I'm like I'm like, oh, like yeah. if I release yeah. if they're like this I'm the exact opposite. the funniest oh, thing thank you is when, we're, <laughs> when we're talking about all this celebrating a trick that we landed not to I always remember remember Rick Howard at uh uh, oh, when, he, when he does the focuses um, his board into a thousand pieces focuses his board after he lands a gnarliest trick front on someone, 7th street front someone a fake you five oh yeah. yeah. but, but that's the feeling yeah. of like that's the feeling that I would get yeah. that you're yeah. talking yeah. about it's like <laughs> I am so exhausted I can't even celebrate I'm going to stomp this board because I'm just so done and thank god <laughs> I've that only I focused my board it. once god. in my whole really your whole yeah. shit because you were angry or because you landed a trick and were over I was oh. bummed yeah. And the thing is, is I never get bummed either when I'm skating, when I'm filming with somebody. But, and this is I'm not trying to put anybody on blast, but because he's always been on point. But I guess, I think I was, uh, it was at Dorsey and I did switch nose willy, fakey three flip, switch Manny down. Mm. Oh, wow. Okay. And then, uh, someone missed it. Somebody, he missed it. Oh. So then I focused my board. Who, Sock? No. Tim? Haven? No. DJ Runaway. Oh, Did you run? okay. Yeah, but it wasn't my guy. Dude, he's always on point. That's yeah, the, yeah, that's yeah, my, yeah, that's yeah. one of my best friends. And, and you, because you you won. But I, I was I tried for so long, I guess, and then I did it, and then he said. I missed it and I was mm. bummed, but I wasn't bummed at him. I, was, I, I mean, I took so long. I would have, if I was him too, I'd have been drooping the camera too. I'd, <laughs> yeah. I'd have been over it. But that's the only board you've ever <laughs> focused. I, yeah, it's the one I, I think I've only focused one board. Wow. I've broken one board back in the days when my second year of skating off a launch ramp, doing like a like a, a big frigid which is like when you kick your foot off the opposite from a judo yeah, yeah. Mm. and then it broke and it was like this old mike smith board huh from yeah and it's, that was the only board i've ever broken off a of launch ramp and then uh yeah Different. focusing a board was that time because wow. i feel like there was a time there was a time like when I you said, everybody was yeah. it was okay to focus your boards sure. and throw it and t- temper tantrums and all that stuff it was very eye-opening to go to emb in like the early 90s and just to see how they were getting down right that kind of got me to be like damn you can break your board like all right 
I'm gonna try that. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I didn't. I wasn't a big fan of it. I definitely did it, but I wasn't yeah. like yeah. It well, like I hated setting boards up. Mm. So I was like, oh, I'm not gonna focus this yeah. board. Focusing like, your board made popular was good for the board brands though. Hey, creates more go. sales. Generates I, more yeah. dough. Well, let's bring that back, right, <laughs> Tori? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? I remember uh, when Tori, when we were skating the barracks a bunch, I was filming my recruit, and you were filming your battle commander. Mm -hmm. I was waiting. The lights were off. I'm sitting in like the, the whatever the where the kitchen was or something and you try a trick for like four hours wow. and i couldn't hear i was just in my own zone like not even watching because it was you were doing your thing i heard the loudest boom like i was like scared it was you celebrating because you finally ended the trick oh, yeah. and you were just like you did just, half cab just, feeble to back tail to backside or you had a, the back backside, tail backside flip backside out flip, yeah but i was just like i don't know this the way Re you... regardless the trick even if it's something that you think is going to be easy yeah. or you've already <laughs> done it before and, but it takes you that long it's yeah. like once you're in that battle and you land it you're like your celebration is just like oh, big you time. just let all yeah. frustration yeah, 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 out you're yeah. just like yes just break everything right now and it's the, <laughs> you know kind of guess going along the lines of that rick howard but yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. i guess my celebration's a little bit different you know because no, <laughs> you you know, it's like it's works skating it's skating in a in, in a living hell you know like yeah. trying to trick that long yeah. like when you put four or five hours in bro that's oh uh, four or five hours now is nothing but that's what's crazy about skateboarding you try five hours one day another five hours the next day you come back you do it second try yeah like, what? what's that yeah. why did that happen like, yeah. what happened yeah. was it the board was I not focused who what, what was going on yeah. Yeah. so weird so weird a lot of questions hey we talked about it er earlier in the uh episode but we we just touched on it but i'm super interested because like rocco was a big part of like world and you know changing the course of advertising and yeah. even board graphics how gnarly they were back then and Huge. even just giving you guys credit cards and letting you guys go yeah. wild i mean like what was the what was the vibe like back then was it just like you guys could just do anything it was wild he became like an everyday santa claus for us yeah <laughs> mm -hmm. we're just like that and he was the coolest dude though he wasn't a dick he was super cool he was really given he actually appreciated how much he was getting back from skateboarding okay the thing is about rocco is that he didn't just he wasn't handed anything mm. he worked hard for that he was sleeping at a an old car dealership at a business he, i think he was he was taking loans off of places that you know mm -hmm. off of people that you know were sketchy to take loans off. megan just posted make, wow. about that on her instagram and i'm saying like yeah. he worked hard and he got to a point and he just came in swinging and you know he he, he ended up doing it right he it was, worked he, he was very smart about how business should work and he just went there and he 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 went for the biggest brand at the time which was Powell. Powell, yeah and they just went at it and then other brands wanted to come in too and start kind of nitpicking and he would just kind of destroy them oh, <laughs> i mean when he stole That's richard crazy. Mulder and put the ad out that foundation, was crazy too yeah. the foundation that was nuts. Is richard they never even told him he quit yeah. and the they had to see an ad of richard in Steve's Porsche waving, waving goodbye. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. And like that's the, just he's like, oh my god. And Sam, Steve wrote something like, "We've stole your yeah, lighter." It's or ruthless. Like, yeah. it's, man. He was ruthless. Yeah. How did you feel at that time when that was happening? It's rad. For me, I was at a you know such you know I was still I wasn't young. I mean nowadays, sixteen year old kids are so damn. You know they know everything but yeah. mm -hmm. back then though I mean we had no social. media. We were it super just, naive oh, of that like, shit, bro. I was just like I'm skating. Mm -hmm. This guy's paying for everything he has so much money yeah. he's got a big house he's got this porsche i love rolling in the back of it <laughs> you know what i mean <laughs> and i was just you know it was crazy and i saw these things come out and we would be as kids look and go oh my god like we would laugh and just be so entertained and we would think like whoa it's sketchy he's going against like powell mm -hmm. yeah but he did it you weren't even I, thinking I feel like he did it kind of like in a, he, he was real smooth about it you know what i mean mm. it was never really a crazy thought process for him he was just like oh they did that i'm gonna do this yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. did powell ever they strike back i wasn't really around, like did they strike back at all at that point yeah, I, somebody I, tried to i remember i don't know if it was powell was the powell foundation did, and then uh simon woodstock sued them too mm. um, for i forgot what it was and i'm not sure how that panned out but but there know, was a couple companies and i like simon woodstock though he was a, he was yeah a, he was a homie of mine he he was definitely different he would do very well at the state of skating where it's at now yeah. yes creativity oh and for like sure for sure standing out with just wild ideas i always said like he was ahead of his time big yeah. time if he was a, if he was a pro right now he would be that's a personality yeah. like no other for he'd have sure. two million instagram followers easy um yeah there was a couple companies though that would try to uh clap back at rocco through, via ads and stuff yeah. and i don't think I they think would foundation did it foundation bit, yeah Right, but, but that wasn't the, that wasn't them. You know what I mean. So like, Steve was very rare in himself when he 
was doing these yeah, things. Yeah, like yeah, yeah. nobody else was doing these types of things. When he came out yeah. there, like, are you crazy? Yeah, like, going against these, you know. But why would you do that? Yeah. I just trip yeah. out how competitive they were. Like I was talking to John earlier. I'd heard that. When Girl had started, they were going to start a company. It was going to be called Sister, not Chocolate. Mm -hmm. and, mm -hmm. and Morocco had bought the name Sister so that they couldn't start it. Do it yep. What? Uh, yeah. And I was like, I didn't know that. That's man. a rumor I heard too. Yeah. yeah. And I was, I was like, damn, they really were like fighting oh, like, each other. What about bitch skateboards? Yeah. There was that yeah, too. That, Everybody that. left and Rocco started bitch skateboards. No, no, no. Rocco started. Uh, no, it was Sal Rocco. Oh, Sal Rocco. Sal Rocco. Sal Rocco, Sal Rocco. Sal Rocco started bitch skateboards, That's right. which was pretty wild. Still in the family. <laughs> and the crazy, thing, the crazy thing about bitch skateboards is the last time I seen Sal Rocco was he was homeless mm. and I was right here in Marina Del Rey at that McDonald's right off Lincoln. Yeah. And he was right there. And he's like, he's like, you got some change. And I was like, I know this voice. And, uh, damn, I gave him change and he, I go, and I looked at him, I was like, Sal, he's like, what's up? And then I just drove off. I felt, I didn't even know what to do. Wow. I felt like, yeah. I told my girl like, oh my God, I think that's Sal Rock, but I'm not wow. sure. But it was him. Yeah. Oh, wow. damn. But you know, oh my God, he went through, I mean, he made a lot of money from bitch. He was a, he was a millionaire. There was a, it was because it was a Japan. Yeah, it was Japan, a big it was Japan a, mm -hmm. yeah, company. Big yeah. deal of it. That was, a, that was a stab at girl skateboard. Oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, but then wow. he got, 100%. something happened. He got sued. He like lost mm. everything. He owed oh. so many people so much money wow. or something happened. And I don't know. And, and then he, I think he just got caught up with all that. Drugs and stuff. Yeah. Oh, wow. Yeah. It's crazy, so, man. I mean, as, yeah, Rocco's stint in the industry was monumental yeah for sure. i mean the way that everything he did was you can't you can't do anything like that anymore huh? no. no 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 we had no. we had boards where why not we had boards where, yeah. <laughs> so i think in, i think in skateboarding it's like really well, yeah. but even the the graphics they were putting out was just the graphics were ooh, wow they, you can you try to put those graphics out now you can't yeah i mean i even have, i even had a board with like a, a asian you know asian guy like I barbecue mean. and a dog mm. and at the time i was just like well i'm just happy to have a board but yeah. now i look at it i'm like damn that crazy kind of wild that's crazy yeah. Yeah. I ain't never had a dog in my life. Javon, Javon, <laughs> Javon, dude, you know Javon, I mean? Javon graphics, bro. This is, this is, yeah. like the, it is like crazy. The, all that in the, shit in the, is crazy. In the fields and it's shit, like, crazy. bro. Yeah. No, oh, Chico kidding me? with the, with Chico the oranges, with the oranges and, on the yeah. side yeah. of the yeah. freeway. Like, bro, like, and that's, none just, of this that's just three we're talking about. Yeah. But it's like, there's so many more. But there was like hundreds of For the time, it was super iconic and so so racy. Because people did love it. It was very racy. But the thing is, and as us being the writers, we, as or as being kids, we okayed it. Yeah. yeah. What do you think about that? You're like, yeah. I mean, that's pretty funny. You gotta, you, know you gotta, yeah, right. you gotta adapt to. But sometimes yeah. it seems like they would do Life it anyways. And, it, they're not, they they're were, not getting your approval. Like, hey, what do you guys think of these? And like, and they thought it was, you know, they thought it was funny. Just like me, Kareem, and Daniel's first ad was White Power. Yeah. You know. Yeah. And it just is like. It was a print. It was a print ad. Print ad. Yeah. Print ad. Black and white. Yeah. Me, Whoa. Daniel, and Kareem. So you know, and the, the ad is White Power. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's just you three. It's so crazy. Yeah. Wow. It's so hell? crazy. Again, it was just to get uh, the attention. Was, yeah. You know. And you had to do. Did do you know that was going to be getting out there like that? I didn't know it was going to be an ad like that. I remember uh, Spike shot the photo, and we, he shot us at this uh, this little school out in uh, Lamita, and then I was like, "That's sick. We're going to have an ad." And I remember going to this small little skate shop in San Pedro, and uh, what do you call it? We opened up the little Power Edge mag at the time. That was like the big Power mag, Edge. and uh, we saw it. And I was like, yeah. I didn't even look at the white power part. I was like, you, I'm in the mag. <laughs> I'm in a magazine. And I remember taking it to school. People were like, white power. What I was like, fuck? I mean, it's just funny. It's a joke. It's a joke. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? I was just like, well, look. Yeah, look I'm at sitting this, here. It's my boy Kareem. <laughs> Daniel. This is the oh, you had. Just there, that, it there it is. Oh, you had. Like, so, so random, though. Just what? white power. Sequence of so Kareem and a sequence of Daniel what? and a sequence Dude, of Daniel. Psycho one. shit. Skate, but like who do you who whose idea do you really think this was? Was this Steve Rocco's? Was this <laughs> That was Rocco's. Was it? Yeah, you mentioned the uh I feel like day one's documentary. Amazing. Uh, yeah, so it was Steve too, and then Rodney was there as kind of a I feel like a mediator. Like mm. whoa, 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 I don't know if yeah. you know, but this is just enough or it's right, not too much. Right, right. You know what I mean? Because they were you know, they were there. You would figure that Rodney would be Rodney like no on all that. Yeah, that's not it. You but know? you know, he Steve, knows what's up. Steve was a strong personality totally. too, so Rodney, Rodney, you don't get it. It just isn't gonna work. <laughs> and I'm Rodney, sure that and Rodney did. A lot. Hey, and, but look what happened. Yeah. Totally. You know what I mean? Yeah, they blew, blew up. up. I mean, he was he he had you know he, he killed it. Yeah. He, Straight he, up. Yeah. He eight, made eight. He brought something to the industry, just like kind of. I don't know. You know how skateboarding gets that new era of like something, and you're just like, damn, like these dudes are killing it. Mm -hmm. and, you know, you got the uh, what's who's a, uh, I mean, just a lot of these new brands that are coming out, and they're they're killing it because. They're just—it's just something new. 
Yeah. yeah. And back then, though, he came out new, but he just started destroying. Anybody like is is in like a, a new skateboarder, somebody young, or just somebody who doesn't have much anyways, mm -hmm. and they see this underdog attacking like these big corporates or these big companies, you're like, what? Yeah. Like, you almost get this sort of respect. Like, I'm an underdog too, and like... I don't know. You, you just get you mesh yourself into that. Like, damn, the little guys can shine. You sure, know what I mean? And sure. like, you can, you can kind of get in there. And you saw Steve do that, and it was just wild. What a, and I'm just pretty. I'm pretty. Uh, it was fun to be a part I'm of. I'm pretty thankful to have been a part of that. Yeah, you know? straight yeah, up. Yeah, yeah, definitely. You know, definitely. and of course there were some, some of those graphics that were kind. of, You know. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Like yeah. I would definitely. You know, I, I wouldn't approve of them now. I wouldn't be like, oh yeah, do that for me because that just is against. You know, it's just against, like, even my race in general. For like, sure. wow, putting mm. that out there, just, you know. Mm -hmm. Although some stereotypes, as much as we want to not believe them, some stereotypes are, like, you know, they kind of... They're stereotypes for a reason. Yeah, they're stereotypes for mm -hmm. a reason. You know, they're brought up. The thing is, like, yeah, But know, the youth is so important these days, you know, and you want to be able to leave a, a, a positive effect on, on the youth, you know. And yeah. you definitely, you know, change is good. Skateboarding was raw. Rocco left an impact for sure. Yeah, yeah. Definitely. But definitely nowadays it's it's yeah. it's it's important to to a skateboarder to have a good reputation than that yeah. bad no doubt. Reputation, well, it's a part of skateboarding's you know, like, history as well. Yeah, yeah. For sure. Yeah. And to be honest, it was very short lived. That it's not like this was like f drawn out for oh, five, yeah. oh, six, yeah. to seven years. Yeah. This, was, was, like this was like three window. years, yeah. probably yeah. two to three small years. Small window, yeah. and then it just kind of <laughs> went it everywhere. You right. Know? Right. Yeah. Wow. I love it, man. Uh, Rocco. Yeah. Like I said, man, he, it's a part of skateboarding's history. He left yeah. a, he left a crazy cool impact yeah. on it. And with Rocco, too, is he's, I think Rocco's the only one that beat Rodney Mullen in a freestyle contest. I think that was... That like, was wow. it? I think Rodney, the only freestyle contest Rodney lost was against Steve Rocco. Crazy. I yeah. think. I don't know my history. Maybe Roger can look in on that. That's crazy. But Rodney only lost one. Oh, and rough. I don't know if it was from Steve Rocco, which would be pretty crazy. Maybe yeah, that's why he had some respect Pierre for Andre, I believe. Oh, uh, you think so? Okay. Maybe. Damn it! Well, it would have been a good story. Edit that out. You we tried. We tried. We tried. We tried. <laughs> Try to get Rocco as well. Do you still? Do you talk to Rodney often? I talk to Rodney here and there. Yeah, yeah a lot. Just to kind of keep in touch, touch base, and we're like doing. He's he's been working on. He works on so many different things, and he's in like. He's MIT. In a, he's in a, yeah. yeah, he's doing some. He's shit. doing some wild stuff out there. Just using that mind of his. You yeah. Know? yeah, yeah. We'd yeah. love to have him on the show. Yeah, man. Oh, that'd be sick. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It'd be amazing. It's really cool it's to see Day One and Rodney connecting. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Still that'd just be, friends, that'd be boys. Wild to have like, me and Rodney here to touch base because we would talk about some. You know, we we spent just all these road trips and stuff we took, and yeah. I was just a little kid. Rodney's still too. He wasn't that much older than me. You know what I mean? So he was like an older brother to me. Yeah. Right. Because I would never say like a dad he was an older brother to me somebody i could look up to and he, he can get he gave me guidance and stuff like that and we'd just listen we would just drive because everybody would be knocked out in the tour vans but me and rodney would stay up and just chat talk all night and he'd be just kicking knowledge to me and his experiences yeah. growing up. and so i got to soak in a lot more rodney and get more information about him so i feel like i know him so well you yeah, know? yeah 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 because totally. he was a yeah it was stunning to me to hear that he was like kind of acting as like team manager and driving the vans yeah. and mm -hmm. checking into the works. hotels yeah yeah definitely Actually, inventing all the shapes that now everybody <laughs> is 100 percent well, we trying were, to mimic there's pearl like, wellinger actually he was what pearl wellinger beat him, pearl wellinger beat him. damn that's what raj said he wasn't really involved with like the shapes of skateboards, right? No, he was doing all the shapes too. Yeah, yeah. Dude, back oh, at yeah. Prime, he, he, was, he made he all the, the original shape shapes. Then. Rodney was the shape. He would be at Prime. You'd meet him, inventor. Oh, hey. You tell start me. doing all that. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. He's so good. Wow. Yeah. I remember I watched a day in the life of him, and I saw that in the four and one. And he just showed. I didn't like that guy. Did so much stuff. Yeah, he yeah. skated. He team managed. He did shapes. He invented tricks. We, invented we tricks. were all the little kids watching Rodney eat a Cliff Bar, and we we're like, "The hell are you eating? <laughs> <laughs> that was the Cliff Bar, that bro." So that true. And then, way ahead of his and time. And then Rocco and Rodney <laughs> would pull up to a Whole Foods, and me and Daniel and us would be like, "What kind of store is this? <laughs> <laughs> there ain't nothing in there for me." Nothing in there for me. When we would leave, I'd be like, hey, "They go to weird stores. <laughs> <laughs> this like, ain't no Vons. Where is it? I guarantee you, there's no Snickers or anything." Right. Uh, Give me a Shasta. I don't know if they carry Shasta in there for Shasta, sure. Shasta was 25 cents. 25 like, cents. Yeah. Please. The vending machine, 25 cents. Yeah. Yeah. And they would come out with all these good things, and I was like, damn. And then they would take us to McDonald's or something, you know what I mean? <laughs> so we were just like, it's Even so funny out. to see that now. 
I, I always, when I, if I have a cliff bar, I'm always like, damn, I hope ain't nobody's. Trying <laughs> 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 to get that judgment I gave we, them. We've come a long way, Dave. Yeah. <laughs> We got some clip God. bars over here if you want. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah. Take some home. <laughs> Rodney was watching. He was, you know, and he would get burgers with just cheese, and we were right. like, "That ain't a burger." Remember that, Jerome? Yes, of course. Grilled he, cheese. He would get a burger. So good. No, oh, he would just say a burger, no meat. So to us, we were just blown away. Like what? <laughs> just bread and lettuce, whatever. Yeah. What is that? In and out. It's like that's me. Yeah. I go to In and Out, get me a grilled cheese, and I'm hyped. Yeah. So good. Oh my gosh. No bun, just lettuce wrapped. Oh. I was trying that for a while. Yeah. I, I just had a lettuce uh, <laughs> burger lettuce wrap the other day. Yeah, it was good, man. It was good. You get the, if you get the right one, yeah. No, no, they're still good. Yeah. Just, uh, Dude, not. if you could get Rodney Mullen to come here with you, that would be incredible. Dude. The Let's stories. Go. Oh, Rodney would just right? go. You'd have to just have him on by himself. His oh stories would just go on. I wouldn't even want to interrupt. I like how you said oh, that. I swear. Right, you'd just be here with if us. Like, just just <laughs> Damn, I'm yeah. sure Rodney would come in. You know what I mean? Like yeah. he's a great guy. I think Rodney actually would. He, I think he would actually. I I hit up Rodney yeah. and he hits me back. And he, oh, he, that's he, cool. I invited him to the Day One Hundred event. Okay. He came. I surprised Day One. Yeah. Yeah. It's so funny because I was like, Hey, Day One, check out over there those boards that line up. What do you think about that lineup? The order of the boards, like you know, <laughs> over there, over there. Yeah, like what, what do you Rodney's think? always what had do you, my back. What do you think about that one over there near Rodney? And he's like, Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> and then he's like, wait a second. Is it Rodney? He's like, yeah. oh shit. Yeah. Rodney. I was like trying to like Rodney's the whole time. Like, Rodney's, Rodney's busiest, chilling in. Yeah, he's the busiest person in the world, but he always makes time for me. Yeah. So like, cool, that's man. That's, that I, always, that's... I have to be so thankful for somebody like Rodney Mullen to still take that time and like make sure that he shows up for something for me. And that's like, it's a huge thing. Yeah, you know what I mean? sure. It's yeah. crazy. Nah, so legends, who, who wouldn't though day one man like you know i know i don't know man we love you dog drunk, some of them drunk days <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. <laughs> we're not gonna get let's not get into that <laughs> you want to get into that <laughs> those are those bad days <laughs> i think i was like i think i, I was like uh 86 day, out of some of the trips for day one does not know his own strength though i'm gonna tell you that shit oh. right now <laughs> yes <laughs> strong huh? yes oh, man. very strong it well, put you in a little fucking. Two twenty-five. Like, <laughs> Two twenty-five. Is that, that jujitsu? Oh. Real quick. Boom on the ground. Snap wrist. I'm busted. I think that those days, though, I had some issues. I was going through a lot in my life yeah. and stuff like that. So I'm glad that that part of my life of just kind of, I was kind of a drunk. You know mm -hmm. what I mean? I was. Mm -hmm. Honestly, I yeah. was. Yeah. I went out to drink and just get drunk. Get drunk. You know? Right. Right. I'm glad those days. Here I'm sitting here. Just this, <laughs> this glass is always empty. But we're yeah, we're we're, yeah, we're just having like, a nice conversation, having yeah, a nice beverage. Yeah. You know what I mean? All in good fun though. All just fun. Yeah, yeah no, we're gonna go like, get drunk after this. Yeah. Chris, really? Yeah, dude. I, hey, we hung out uh, a little bit when in Tampa, and that was one. Of, I was like, "Oh, day one is the." F I always knew you were the man, but like <laughs> now, dude, official. you were at you were at the bar. Everyone's like, oh, "Day one's fucking here." Everyone was like, "Dude, oh, in Tampa." Oh yeah, that was. See, like I said, man, it's still in there. Man. The whole, no, <laughs> but it was fun though. Party mode, but you haven't been to Tampa in a while. No, I just went last. Uh, yeah, just went to this last Tampa. How yeah. was it though? It was. I cool. mean, everybody loved you seeing and, you no, there. It, man. it was just so cool to be there, and it, it was fun to watch like just you know this generation just kill it yeah. and then it was like i said it just brought me what like brought me right back i've mm. only entered two tampas i'm terrified in contests yeah. man i can't hang it's a same you know what i mean it's a but lot going on yeah it's fun to be there show face and totally you get to talk to people that you know like i said like instead of instagram and like replying on there you can just yeah. you can talk to them in yeah. person which well, is better you had the clip with uh costin yeah. on the meeting ramp and people oh, lost their minds so over so there <laughs> So, so good. dope, and bro. then like you know, and then you you go back out to uh, you know the nightlife out there. It's just mm -hmm. wild, but you're around all these you know you're around industry people, people you haven't seen for a year, twenty years. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, even Tom. I got to hang out with Tom, and it's been a long time since I got to kick it with Tom. So we just had a good time. Yeah, so, that's, so, that's man. awesome, man. But I see myself on people's shoulders. I was like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> people's shoulders. Oh, you're I've never you're a fun. On. You're a fun drinker in that sense. You're not yeah. like you're yes. not a downer or a negative guy. Yeah, you that know? ain't that like, ain't all on you. That's also Tampa's. It's just Tampa. Yeah, Tampa. yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. true. Tampa gets you, know? you. But like I said, like yeah, I enjoyed myself in Tampa. So that's it was a good awesome, experience. Man. It was good to be out there and touch base with everybody. I think it's important to do that too. Sometimes, definitely, totally. Yeah, we can get so we all get stuck in our little areas and you know just. South Bay yeah. or this or over Bay. Yeah, the day to day. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. Day to day. But the people respected it, man. They you know? loved it. Just yeah. day one got a, a, a an award just for showing yeah. up. Yeah. Just for showing you know? up. I love that Tampa out, does out that. The man. respect, you know what I mean? Straight and up. that's rad and that's like it, dude. I mean, it's it's really cool to to see that like they care. 
Oh yeah, that you yeah. come. Well, you got mm-hmm. much. Love it ain't for, for you. not for nothing, as John would you say. Already know. You know what I mean? Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, there's, I mean, everybody loves you, Day One. You are a legend in the game, mm, dude. Both of you guys, you are, Day One, no, hundred percent, hundred percent. But you know, I mean, just we're talking about the Tampa going out there. You yeah. know, you're not seeing everybody for a while. Yeah, it's right. People love it, and the oh. young kids. They they must have gotten a kick out of that too. I mean, it's good to t- you know it's fun to just be out there. Like I said, yeah, man. if you could stay kind of, you know, I wouldn't say relevant, but you're still like young kids even know who you are. That's like a blessing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. in itself of just like wow, because you know they don't they don't need to care. I mean, there's a whole there's a whole new run of these new amazing skateboarders that are out here that I get to watch and sure. I get to appreciate, and it's insane. Me watch when I watch everybody skating these days too. I'm just like. Wow, I'm just blown away. I'm blown away by the consistency, like how yeah. Yeah. how good and how easy things do come. And, yeah, that you know is what I mean? pretty incredible, mm-hmm. isn't it? And skateboarding, like I said, in general, it hasn't changed that much through all these years. Tricks are pretty similar, mm-hmm. but the caliber of where they're at and like how often they're done and how much you see them in a contest run, that's pretty wild. Skill level Definitely. is yeah. pretty gnarly. Yeah. For real. So it's for pretty real. wild. And the age levels, too. They're getting younger and younger. Yeah, it's the unreal. progression. The, the kids nowadays, I mean, the, the kneecaps aren't even developed yet. Yeah. And they're out there doing these tricks yeah. and, and jumping down stairs. I mean, yeah, just, like, just, 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 yeah, the, li- the, the little girl skaters. Yeah, the women. Like, the women. Yeah, the women, the women and, right? and like, Straight up. Yeah, the women. But, I mean, it's just... the the. They're so young. But that's what I love. Their level of skating at such a young age is like... Like like ten fifteen years ago, like way gnarlier oh, than, than male skaters. The beautiful like thing though is like it's amazing. Yeah. We're watching the progression of of these women skaters and girl skaters. Like we're watching it like happen like over like just yeah. a couple yeah. years ago, and then now those girls that are getting into it 13, oh, 12, dude, 13, I seeing those it. girls it's skating, wide. and it's like they're. Uh, it's the levels yeah. are going up and up and it ain't up. even every, about the level going up either it's the influence so it's well that's leaving. what I'm, that's what it mm, but yeah. that's what it Globally. encompasses right yeah. it's yeah. like that yeah you need that you need to see uh, a person that looks like you doing yeah, that exactly. stuff you know and yeah. to, to motivate and, yeah and, i think skateboarding just as like uh as a group as yeah, a family a, as an outlet i think that has helped Mm-hmm. lots of people's oh, lives mm-hmm. you know, like to open yeah. up like. yeah that's the big thing on skateboarding too is like seeing somebody you can relate to yes mm-hmm. yes it's huge because once they're relatable you're like i can you know i could do that, that could be mm-hmm. me yeah it could be me and yeah you know and like you said too is i get to see this happen too and I, you know and like a little seven-year-old girl i can watch her and go i wish i could do what she did yeah and i love that about skating that i want to do what she does mm-hmm. and i wish you know she's doing a mctwist i'm like i never learned mctwist yeah. i wish i could yeah. You know? yeah, 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 yeah. <laughs> and i'm jealous but at the same time i'm just like i'm so like i can't, I can't believe where skating's at it's crazy yeah, it's, insane. it's a beautiful thing man yeah. it's, it's a beautiful thing to for us to watch it too yeah. it's like we're watching this thing unfold and like yeah. blossom and just go crazy and it's, it's it, yeah and kids have this outlet too with social media where they can shine yeah. through that and they can probably pick up sponsors instead of the old school sending an old VHS tape through the mm-hmm. mail and hoping yeah. it shows up in this pile where someone's <laughs> be like, we never looked through these, but today... Like my yeah. shorties tape. No, the opportunities. Tape. <laughs> the opportunity is way more vast. Like yeah. They have a yeah. lot more opportunities than we did. And know? sometimes you don't even need to send it out. People can just find, yeah. find you. you. Exactly. Yeah. Well, you said yeah. it earlier. It's yeah. like you don't know who's watching. Mm-hmm. Yeah. You don't, you don't know, know who's watching. Yeah, you don't know who's watching and... And you know, I'm not going to take anything away from saying it's easier. Sure, I'm just sure. saying that that's it's just different. where it's at now. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Kids, De La you know, Soul's finding Day One Song on the Instagram. You yeah, know what they I'm did a repost. De La oh, Song. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, you guys are the best. Straight up. Day One, yeah. you have to come back and kick it with us. Tori, you have oh, to come man, back no for way. eight, we nine, ten, you, twelve you times. Guys, you guys are the best, though. Come no, on, no, man. Man. Oh, appreciate you guys. Yeah, we really just, appreciate we just really. Kelly. Hey, thank you guys. Roger, back there. Yeah. Thank you, Day One. We just really enjoy... Chris? Yeah, probably. (laughs) We're going to Kings of Wine after this. I think they shut down. Did they? No, they're still going. That used to be our spot. (laughs) Me, you, Daniel Castillo, John. Oh, my God. It's far. Let me see how far that is. But we used to go skate a little little downhill manny over there. Because remember we skated at Kings of Wine, too, because Hickory was right, that little popular school. Oh, the ledges. The Hickory ledges, yeah. Yeah. It was like seriously three blocks away from Kings of Wine. No way. I'm not trying to promote Kings of Wine. But it was our spot. The bread is kind of nice, though. Thank you. You, I think you picked up a couple meals over there, man, for us. Thank you, bro. Thank you. No worries. You can get me right now. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) We got snacks right here. Anything you need. Anything you need. We got clip bars over here, yeah. Hey. Thank you, skateboards. Thank you, skateboards. Jerron Wilson board available Thank you guys. now. Not to mention all the other stuff that you have there. Because uh, you are in the trenches down there. You, you, I mean, you have your hand on every single thing that comes through there. Yes, sir. 
You're out there screaming yeah. stuff. You're out there packaging it up. I like love it. like I said, I, no, I got a lot Tori of love. Is no joke, man. Tori, one of the hardest working dudes Tori's out. One of the, well, straight is up. one of the, is the hardest working God. From my experience watching this, I think you can. There it is, right yeah. here. We got all everything. Yeah. Man, just when we started mm. talking about Daylong. But that's what I'm saying. Yeah, but that's what I'm, is it? Oh yeah, there it is. Don't put that up there. The bottom what do you right. Mean? What do you mean? Go down. Go down. Right there on the right oh, side. Oh, man. Yeah. We, ain't, we, ain't, we ain't even got that gold Jerome we, board up there. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get that thing up there. Hey, yeah. Danny Hamaguchi board. That's Danny has been killing for so long. I'm so, so happy to so see long, him. Bro. I wanted him on chocolate. Yeah, I was one. Of, I want he fit. Cho- he was to me the Should've modern day him. Tim Gavin. Should've pressed him harder. The, the, with the shorts. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm yeah, learning I mean, from the best. I'm yeah, learning from the best. I mean, we got to press know, people. Seen w, w already had a celebration. I mean, I know. I, pre- <laughs> I pressed him hella hard. Where it was just like it didn't even work. <laughs> didn't even work. <laughs> Dude, yeah. yeah go. Where did that come from? What? We, we everybody start calling you Dub. I have no idea. That right? just I popped out of nowhere. Yeah. And yeah. even me, it's still stuck in my mind. I'm yeah. just calling him W right w, now. Yeah. J-W. Yeah. J-W. Yeah. J-W. 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 Dubs. J-Dubs. Oh, J-Dubs. Oh, I mean, but, I didn't come up with it, but like, I, yeah. yeah I, didn't, well, using it out of I still didn't understand at first. I was like, Dubs, and it's like, it's the W. w. Yeah. Yeah. W. yeah, it's just yeah. the W. Dubs. Yeah. W. Yeah. Oh, because yeah. when I was saying it. J-Dubs. No, no, no. Like, oh. like, like when I when people, in I heard it, I would hear when I was a kid, I'm like, Dubs, I don't understand the W. J-Dubs. Sounds dope. Yeah, we got it. Yeah. Thank you, skateco.com. Go check them out. These guys are amazing legends Appreciate in the game. You, and, you know, you guys just keep doing what you're doing, Day One. Thank you for oh, thank you, everything that you've done for skateboarding, my man. Like, yes. you have, I don't do anything. No, 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 no. Like for real, though. My wheels. Nobody needs to <laughs> For real, though, like yeah. you have done more than you know. Yeah. Appreciate for real. You guys. Hey, hey uh, can, I, can, I, can I say something? 100%. Too? Say whatever you want. Yeah. Thank you. Day one for everything you've done. Uh, thank you, Tori, man. and thank you so much. Yeah. It's, it's, for, been, it's for, been a blessing for, for me for, and Tori for, to be able for to being like, here. be together and like yeah. do thank you together. You know what I mean? And this guy, like I said, hardest working person Dude. I've ever met. He's, so. He is. You are. You Tori. are. Tori. A, so a, thank you. A, a, as 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 real as Day One is, though, he's also like one of the most like influential, authentically skateboarders to to all the people in the community. Oh yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Friends, oh, family, oh, yeah. fans. Are getting me it's, <laughs> it's 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 just it's really true it's, though. It's just Dude. really really rad to say that because a lot of people. No, we're, we're a lot of pro no, skateboarders. We're just giving you your flowers, bro. Yeah. You need to a give lot of pro flowers, skateboarders, bro. they don't go out of their way to like show love to like the community of like you know friends, fam, yeah. and, and fans, and like it's really cool that that day one does that. You know, yeah. oh no, like, BTS for sure. For like, sure. It's dope. And for even sure. like we, it's dope. saying that you were at Tampa, that meant a lot to a lot of people. To seeing you there, that was like people were really really excited. Sure. So so thank you for yeah. Oh no, thank you guys. Yeah. No, it, this is I mean it's, it's hey it's, thank you thank you thank you thank you skateboarders thank you. Yeah. Thank you. Right, thank listen, you. Listen, listen, thank wait, you, wait. Kelly. I'm going yeah. to get you guys something before we... Hold on, hold on. I'm, I'm going to grab something right here before you, when you guys leave. Oh, oh what? You guys both what? deserve... What is this? A manscaped... <laughs> yes. Lawnmower 4.0 for those, you know... Let no us go. Way. Yes. There. No you know way. I thought one of these nose hairs was going to peek out. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, so, I'm so excited. I'm so excited. You cut your nostril pretty bad. Yeah, be no, careful. Are, this Don't shove good. it all the way in no, there. No, this, this is something for down down under. Man. Yes. Oh, wow. a, Thank yeah. you. Okay. Thank you, Chris. You need that. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. Yeah. Tori's yeah. on, hey, on the moon right now. <laughs> groin groom, grooming. That's, That's right. This is, this That's is, right. This is great. Keep, keep it nice down there. You got to keep it nice. This is for shaving down that bush. That's right. You know what I mean? No more washers. All of us are going to get a crown down there. That's right. That's right. Hey, listen, no. man, just go to manscaped.com slash nine club and get, tw- uh, I think, 10, 20% off plus free shipping. Damn, anyway, I'm good looking out. Tori, it's my nice. man, Tori. Is, is that what that's really for? <laughs> that looks dangerous. It is for that. It's dangerous, Chris. It's not dangerous. Well, it's thank uh, you, it's got a ceramic. It's it's safe. It's oh, safe. Okay. I use it all you the time. You will not cut yourself. Yeah. You use it on your yeah. face yeah. after? Uh, sometimes. <laughs> sometimes. <laughs> listen, it's mine. I can do whatever I want with it. You know what I'm saying? I'm just day one. Hey, bro. First of all, thank you. Thank you so much, day one. And seriously, we're not blowing smoke up here. You are like you. You really. Uh, it comes from a very you know from the heart. You know what I mean? Like you, you really place. Did, you did a lot for 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 skateboarding and myself. Just just myself too. So thank you. And, so I can say the same about all you. T- everybody in this room. You know. Yeah. So appreciate you guys. And you know, let's definitely pay homage to Jerron Wilson. Hey, oh, you Jerron Wilson. Yeah. Yeah. Go by. We we, we want to say thank you. Respect. And Jerron does. Jerron appreciate you guys, man. Done I, it all. I, I witnessed. What he gave skateboarding, what he did in skateboarding. He's he still doing it. And yeah. he's still doing it. I but try I'm just my saying, best, but thank you. I'm Dan. saying, that like, means I, got a lot. To, I got to see some serious things 
like he did on the skateboard. Yeah. Which I was like, Jesus, jealous, you know. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I, you know I appreciate I mean? you, Dave. Yeah. Thank you so much, man. No, thank you, Jerron. King so King Sawai. King Sawai. <laughs> <King Sawai. laughs> <laughs> <laughs> uh, but it, both of you please come back anytime. We'd love to I mean day one, we you you gotta come back and uh, with Rodney please, or somebody, dude. you know. Yeah, be amazing. Sure. That'd be great. Be amazing. Yeah. But, there uh, it is. Yeah. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, here it is. <laughs> Jesus. Wait, I those are my little snarks. <laughs> this is Thundercats, and these guys <laughs> are little snarks. <laughs> this is when our, our episode gets taken down because uh, oh yeah, copyright. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> okay. Okay. Those are yeah, snarks. He's about to say it right there. Let me hear it. <laughs> 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 there's a, there you go. We could use that. We could use that. Snarf, snarf. Oh my god. Wow. Epic. All right. Wow. Uh, had dude. I known, man, that's what you guys were talking about the whole time. That's yeah, I had no idea either. That was so funny. Bro. Wild, right? I love hanging out with you guys. Dude. Yeah, crazy. Fun, you guys, you both, you guys both have to come back. Can't come kick it with us. Oh, we'll wait. see. What do you mean? All right, snarf, snarf. We're out of here. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. <laughs> um,